I'm the best at this thing. The broadcast is live. Screw it. We're doing it live. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, God. Yeah, we're live. No, now we're live because I just got the notification. It just came up. I think we've been live for a few seconds. Okay. Okay. Found it. Found it. There we are on the YouTube. So the three of the people going to be watching is going to be us three, right? I'm going to be watching ourselves. YouTube, watching ah, myself on YouTube. I'm the best kind of viewer myself. I watch myself. That's kind of creepy sounding, but yes. It's not creepy at all. Nothing watching wrong with watching loving you, yourself. Watching you, watching you, watching you. Actually, what? I told my kids all to watch me, so they should be here. Oh, wow. I said, watch daddy's show. You'll hear me cuss a lot. Are you grounded for a week? Uh -huh. So I get, I get a few. So what is uh? How was work today? I didn't have to work. Me neither. One of you worked, right? Mm -hmm. Today is one of my days off. Yeah. That is, uh, well, I had to work, and it was fun. My eyes are up here, girl. Oh, I'm looking to see if somebody's <laughs> in here so we can get started. Above the waist now. Don't worry about it. Just start the show. The catch you can start the show too. What am I supposed to do? You're the host with the most. <clears throat> Look, I'm first in the chat. Yay! Oh. Well, oh, I feel like this is a little high. Let me just be really professional for a second and put this in the right spot. All right, so. We are here. <laughs> Welcome to the show, 2019 Year in Review. It's me, Mr. Grow. Super Chat is in the building. <laughs> in need mode. Well, we're going to go over uh, some things. We're going to go over our uh, favorite pickups and some other stuff. We had it planned out, but I can't actually remember. You know, uh, Barbarian sent me the stuff about 17 times, but I still can't remember. Oh, uh, man, it cut off my whole PayPal account. Did it? I should have just put my PayPal address so people could super check. <laughs> well, you should have told me earlier. Hey, okay, Bueller, what's happening, man? Send uh, Kung Fu Super Chat, and then you should have had your PayPal address. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess first thing we're going to do... We're going uh, just... to do it. The first thing we're going to do is go over our... Uh, <laughs> Our favorite reads of 2019. So I will guess I'll say my first one. My first one would be The Batman's Last Night. I thought that was a really good kind of cool way to do that book. I really like pretty much all the – I could do all the DC's black label stuff. I, I've, I've enjoyed all that stuff a lot. So that would be my first one. Barbarian Kung Fu, what was your first best read of 2019? Um, Well – I don't think it started. It didn't start in 2019, oh, yeah. but I no, started no. reading it in 2019. Um, I really like Oblivion Song. Like oh, I've been, I got, I finally got caught up on it. I've been buying it since issue one, but just never got around to reading it. And actually, buying Oblivion Song one is what got me back into buying new stuff every week. Nice. I, I had heard about it, and like I always like Kirkman. And I like, you know, I, I was always reading The Walking Dead. And I heard Oblivion Song was coming out. Like, I read it. I think it was an ad for it in one of The Walking Dead comments. Mm -hmm. But I, I showed up to the shop I was going to then, and it had come out like a month before. So, of course, he didn't have one on the wall anymore. But somehow there was one set on a shelf, like, behind the cash register with, like, boxes of Cheetos and shit on it where the, the guy – he just forgot I was there. And I was like, hey, that's Oblivion Song 1, isn't it? Like, I just went in there to shoot the shit with the dude because it's been a long time. And he's like, yeah, no, I forgot that that was there. You want it? And I'm like, yeah, it's actually why I came here. And he's like, here, take it. It's like, it's been sitting there. You know, it's got a crease in it where the box was sitting on it and stuff. So. But it was the uh, – once I got to reading it, it's a really good story. Like, I really like where they went with it. I heard tell that somebody might have talked about making it into a show or a movie oh, at one point. Yeah. Totally don't see how that could happen. I mean, it would be so expensive to make that into a TV show, especially. Or really like, bad. 
What's that? Or really bad if they try to do it like, you know, WB style, it would be really cheesy. Yeah, if Sci Fi Network got their hands on yeah. it and you play Sci Fi Network. Worst, worst thing right there, Sci Fi. The, the, <laughs> the, the thing is, like, Sharknado nobody, special effects. God. Nobody really watches, like, network TV anymore. anymore. <laughs> it's going to be like Netflix or, you know, Amazon Prime that would pick something like that up. Hey, Future. Yeah. Hey, Mark. Yeah, thanks, thanks for coming in, guys. I guess, like, somebody with a budget, like, somebody that really wanted to throw money into it, because there's a lot of side, like, there's a lot of effects. There's a lot of, like, <clears throat> there's, like, a whole alien world that is totally different than our world. And, like, to do it right, like, you, I don't know, they, they can't just go out in the desert and film that shit. They gotta, like, make it, like, it's crazy. Yeah. No, I mean, you never read it before, like, Go online and, and see if you like it. <laughs> it would have. To, I think it would have to be a movie though, because uh, a TV show is too expensive. Like even like all the sci-fi TV shows end because of budget problems. Like even if they're good, they always cancel them because it's just too expensive to constantly. Or they make it where like um, uh, like Stargate and all of. I used to watch that when I was younger, and it would make it where like the later TV shows, they would be stuck on one ship, so they had to make this one room, and they would never leave this one room. It was like 90% of all the shows would be yeah, this one yeah, room. That's, that's <laughs> what would end up happening with this, is they would yeah. keep most of the show in the in our world, like in, I think it's Philadelphia, they'd keep most of it in there, and then like there would be like little flashback scenes or something, and that wouldn't, they wouldn't do it justice. Like, yeah, I like that. The majority that's, of um, the story is happening in the other world like at this point, so they would have to do it. I, I, it would. It would be too hard. That was one of those uh, independents that I read the first few, and then for, kind of forgot about it. And then when you remember it again, it's like four bucks a piece, and I've missed like four. That's a lot of money. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, Nemo. Yeah, what I was your... buying it every month. I just I was buying them and stacking them up. Like I got four <laughs> copies of one of them because I kept forgetting. Like, did I buy that already? <laughs> if I'd have read it, I would have known. But like. Some Nemo, of them are going out in the barbarian boxes, though. What's your pick of your <laughs> 2019? Your special boxes, which you need to advertise more. I um, put all kinds of stuff in my box, and then I send it to people for a good <laughs> price as well. <laughs> <laughs> my first pick. Uh, what happened was I woke up one morning and I went to the LCS and. The variant that I saw first caught my eye, which everybody was kind of raving about anyway. It's a show that needs to be picked back up by Disney Plus, but Daredevil is my first pick. Oh yeah, I mean it's a really great story. I mean the new run or the one that just ended? No, the new one from this year. Yeah, that's the one that everybody keeps telling me to read. I think they said to read uh, what's his name? Oh, old, old boy, Kevin. Smith, I guess, whatever his name is. Oh, Clerks Boy. Yeah, yeah. Kevin Smith Kevin did Smith, a uh, read his run and then the current run. People say that's a pretty good good way to get into uh Yeah. You should gave me a sweet list of like everything I should do. So I gotta start knocking them off one by one. She knows. <laughs> she her, <laughs> her and Soldier know exactly. There you go. That's one of their favorite. I always characters, felt so. bad because she she I mean, yeah, she probably knows it real enough. I probably wasn't that much work, but you can tell she put some thought into it. I was like, Oh, that's super nice of you. <laughs> do all that. Heck yeah. So my next pick is Justice League Dark. There for a while, like every time I was on a stream, I would say Justice League Dark. People were sleeping on it. That was really freaking good. Like I've liked it, but I'm I'm kind of into magic, obviously in the in the superhero world. But I just really like Justice League Dark. I like the way they went with it. They even threw the uh, you know Wonder Woman in there, and I was like, ah, what are you doing? But they even knocked that out of the park with her in it too. And I just really liked it. They. They use all kinds of cool, like you don't really see that much from Detective Chimp all the way up to like Blue Devil. They used them all, and it was it's pretty awesome. I really enjoyed the, uh, or enjoying the Justice League Dark. That was my second one. Nice. I don't know anything about it because I don't I haven't read a DC comic. Yes, I know. I thought it was weird that I did have two DC because it's like those are the only DC <laughs> I read is the Black Label stuff and Justice League Dark. They're good. <laughs> Two of them on here. <laughs> black labels our DC black label has been pretty strong this year or going into the last year into this year. Their uh, current yeah, runs. Bunk the big question, but like their magazine magazine size one, whatever they prestige size. Mm -hmm. How about that? And it, I, I just hadn't had a chance to get into it yet. 
Yeah, be all of them. I mean, I haven't read any that have been like terrible. Some are better than others, obviously, like anything. But I thought they've done a really good job. I'm just so lost in all the DC. Like, of course, I know the characters, and like, I I know somewhat of like the first appearance of this guy and that guy and that kind of. But as far as stories go, I'm totally lost because I've never read the only DC I ever read was like Mask and like Masters of the Universe when I was a kid. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the oh yeah, it is. You know, mask like mobile right. and stuff, <clears throat> task force people or whatever. <laughs> like the knockoff transport. Uh, gas station turned mm -hmm. into the uh, the the uh, base or something like that. <clears throat> yeah. uh, okay, Barbarian, what is your second pick? Oh man, I mean, there's a few that I like. It's hard to narrow it down. Um, as far as reading, yes, sir. So I'll say that. Like Middle West has been really good for reading. Like I really like the story. I like the art in it too. My one of my other picks is mostly just for the art because there's not much story. But Middle West has been a really good read from day one, like from issue one. I've liked it. And Middle it's kind West, of you know Middle a little kid running from his problems. I, Middle West is one of those ones that I bought because I knew I wanted to read it and then just never read it. So I still have not read it. So I'm gonna have to. Uh, it's it's worth oh, reading that's for sure. The old boop 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 internet reader and uh and take a take a gander at Middle West. Read the first three issues right in a row. Okay. Like don't just read the first one and, and judge the whole story on that. Read the first three. Like if you're reading them online, you can do it like that. Just read oh, yeah. all three of them right in a row. Like there's not it's not really super wordy. Like like some comics are. It's like reading a novel with pictures. Like it's it's it's. <clears throat> Art and it's great too, though. Like I really like the way it's drawn, that style. I can't remember. I, I don't think Scotty Young draws it. He just is writing it. Yeah, I think so. I think somebody else does it. And whoever's doing the art, man. Like I really like it. I mean, he always got somebody that they they um, appreciate each other's style because I know yeah. a lot of people think that he's he's drawing it. So obviously, the two artists appreciate each other's work. Yeah, I don't think. And and like I told you earlier, like, I would show it. And look through it. <laughs> as soon as I read it, like I read the first five, I sold them because that's like once I read it, it's locked in the old computer brain, and I don't need to own it anymore. Mm. All right, need mo number two. So my second pick before you jump on the uh, bandwagon of it <laughs> my, is my house and power of X. Is Jesus? <laughs> Everybody knows why. Uh, that has read it, and I know there's going to be some haters out there that didn't like it, including Parker, uh, who's buying. Know, who's, who, who, no, no, hold on, hold on. That, that has purchased what four sets of he has the, four the sets, and the people who wrote that book originally. I swear <laughs> to God, he's got a nice collection of it. So if you guys need a copy, go hit up <laughs> Peter Parker. <laughs> but yeah, it's it was it was great. I mean, uh, Hickman did an amazing job with that story. Um, it was a lot to read, and thankfully he included a lot of things that you don't have to go back to go and get knowledge of some of the issues that are leading up to what he's talking about. So, um, yeah, I enjoyed it thoroughly. Yeah, I like what I've read. I never did get to finish it all just because <clears throat> I'm lazy, but what yeah. I read that I liked, and I hadn't read an X-Men comic in forever either, so I knew I was going to be... Well, I like the previous one. Been ...since House of M. And I yeah, think those I, no uh, uh, Messiah Complex was like the last real X Men book that I was reading. And it's a, been a lot of stuff happened since then. Mm -hmm. Peter, yeah, the, says, Peter says too many charts and graphs, but but again, you bought forty five copies, so I don't understand. You must love charts and graphs. And not only not only did he buy <laughs> copies, like sets of copies of it, he's got variants as well <laughs> that oh, he doesn't want to talk about. But he's got one set that he's got to burn live because of how much his passion, his hate yeah. passion for it is. But uh, we'll see. We'll see when that happens. But I was going to yeah. say the uh, Uncanny X-Men prior to the Power and House of X was really good, which kind of had a little bit of prequel to it just because of the professor and everything. But it's good stuff. Now that's the theory is that they just like, is, wait, is that the one that that's the one they did like a dozen or so issues and then just ended all of a sudden rebooted it, right? It was like uh, close to twenty issues before it, yeah, it all got stopped. Um, but it was almost all in like in the last year. Yeah, 
pretty much. They were doing weekly when they first mm-hmm. came out. Remember that? Yep. Uh, yeah, so I would say, like, because I read a lot of the comics online, obviously, so if I'm, like, clicking fast to go, and I'm not like, ah, I'll get back to that, like, I do that sometimes, or I'll read, like, one or two, then I'm like, ah, <clears throat> I'll, I'll give that a break for a second, and I'll go read something else, but if I click it all the way through, um, but even trumping that was, I bought all the House of X, and I even asked Barbarian to pick up ones that I couldn't find and paid shipping to get it to my house, because that's how much I want to read, and I wanted to have it, so that's how you know it's a good book, if my cheap ass is, like, <laughs> paying shipping fees just to get it to me. <laughs> right. But on that note, I'll do my third one, which is uh, the clicking thing. I, I picked Coda from Boom Studios. Nice. It's an independent book. It's pretty awesome. It's uh, about a guy. It's like an apocalypse kind of thing, but it's from like if Lord of the Rings or that kind of stuff. And uh, this war, this fight breaks out and there's like an explosion happens and all the magic of the world is gone. And it's kind of like all messed up. Some people still kind of pretend like they're knights and stuff, even though there's no reason to be. And some are realists and everything. And his wife has been captured and he's trying to get it like her soul back or something like that. But anyway, it's really good. He's got like a foul mouth unicorn that goes with him. But as soon as it like it gets angry constantly and it's like a, it's probably like the baddest animal left on the planet, probably because as soon as it gets pissed, it starts destroying the entire villages and cities. And, and that was one of those ones. That, honestly, I remember like six months ago and I, it started way before 2019 but that's when i read it but um uh i remember like six months ago i literally went on google and said uh best comic thing mm-hmm. and it was just horrible you get to see it was like oh feel good oh it's this and this and check all boxes and then i saw that and i and i was like what is that so i clicked on it and it's freaking good like i really really like it um i liked it i guess so that would be number two for me it's got a good story even the ending they try to make it all and everybody was equal and lived happily ever after. And and like uh, and then the wife kind of gives him heart. It's I don't want to give it away, but she gives him a funny thing because it's like you know it's just a funny. <laughs> it's pretty so awesome. Like the whole the whole runs done. Yeah, the it's like twelve was... issues or something like that. Mm-hmm. I can't remember how many issues it was, but Boom Studios. Man, I, good. I'm telling you, Boom Studios has been knocking it out for like a yeah, year. Yeah, that's what I love. I've, I've been really liking Boom Studios. Just stuff they've been doing. Yeah, I got one of their books on my list, but not that one, but. Hey, your boy, I, before I get a chance to say that, I'm going to say, hey, how's it going, your boy? All right. Barbarian Kung Fu, what you got? Um, I guess my third one. See, it's so hard to pick, like, three. Narrow it down to three. Um, I really like Cemetery Beach. That was one. It came out. It only had, like, eight issues, I think. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was started and finished in 2019. That's the one, like, it's way less wordy and more art. And I, like, art is what bring brought me to comics. Like, what I value most about comics is the art. Yeah. Like, yeah, story is important. Like, it's and, and it's good to be able to read something that has good art. Because <laughs> I read a lot of novels, like, weird apocalypse novels. They have no pictures. And so, like, reading's fine. But I really like the art. And I really, really dug the art in Cemetery Beach. And uh, the story was, I mean, it was really basic, but it was easy to follow. And, like, it wasn't completely um, whatever. Like, you you didn't expect everything that happened to happen. Right. But it was really good. And it's kind of underrated. Nobody really talks about it that much, but it was pretty good. I remember... Uh... I felt like every time it came out, it co- I, I got the first one. I actually liked it. It's another one of those independents that I buy, and then I mean to buy it again, but there's always new independents coming out, and I forgot. But I always remember it would catch my attention after a while because I feel like every cover, they either it was either awesome cover or it was like a cover swipe or something. Like every, yeah, yeah, we did a lot of cover swipes. Yeah, for that. Pretty cool. The number one had an awesome uh, the ASM 300 cover swipe on it. That was uh, pretty cool, and I had to search for that one. Like I, had, I couldn't find it the day of. I had to find it later online. Nemo Comics. What you got for the third spot? I think it is. Yeah, third spot. Um, mine's going to be also from Boom Studio. It's um, Ronin Island. It's uh, oh, read that one. It's a samurai uh, book that has like a manga, comic book ish type style of writing. I say manga because it's like that funny joking type of thing that, you know, that has a little under the breath, you know, speaking, and then they'll get back into like being serious type of thing. Um, 
but yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. It's still going. Uh, I think it's only up to nine issues right now. It's, no, I want to say every other week, but yeah, it's a, it's a fun read. I feel like I saw that commercial in the last uh, of the one I just said. I think the last book. I feel like there was an ad for that in there. Right now, yeah, yeah. I just wonder. Check it out. All right, let's see. My next one is uh, Venom. Oh, uh, I know it didn't start in 2019, but that's uh, a book that if I had a pull list, I would keep going with Venom. I really enjoy it, even. When people said there was a lull, I actually didn't mind because I feel like uh, sometimes Donny Cates likes to um, do things just for the sake of doing things. Not in necessarily a negative way, but it's it's like, you know, <laughs> let me just answer this question and, you know, like, why is Venom's spit green or whatever? And it's like, ah, it's not necessary, but it gives like a shock kind of thing. So those yeah. like two or three episodes or two or three books where it was like not really anything going on, I actually thought it was fine because then you also had, you know, there was carnage and stuff going on. So I actually thought it was fine, and uh, yeah, I've liked it from the beginning. It's kind of what kept me going on uh, on uh, uh, comics when I first started, because I was like, ah, I liked it, and I thought I was going to have a lull, but then I just kept liking uh, that, and then the next one really bothers me. I think people can know what it is, and it really bothers me that I liked it, but I do, but I will save that for the next one. So what is your Barbarian <laughs> number four? Number four. So these aren't in any order. They're just in yeah, yeah. remembering. Like I told you when we first started, I forgot to do a list. Write them down. <laughs> <laughs> this is all off the cuff. You know, we had days to do it, but that's fine. It's neither here nor there. I know. Yeah. And you sent me the list. That's the funny part. You sent me what we're supposed to be talking about. So <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> we weren't sure what we agreed on or how many. Like, okay. That's okay, though. Um, Just knock them all out. <laughs> Road of the Dead. Road of the Dead was really good. It was only three books. It's a, it's about a uh, a zombie apocalypse. Oh, you know, well, of, course. of course, it's the dead, so it's either going <laughs> to be zombies or vampires. But uh, yeah, this zombie apocalypse breaks out. There's a scientist. This scientist is the only one. Everybody that isn't a zombie that's out in you know the wasteland is trying to find this doctor because they believe that she has a cure, which she doesn't. But word got out by some news reporter that just randomly was like, hey, you're a doctor. You have the cure. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, There's all these people chasing her. There's uh, there's like this one, he's a military guy. He's the only guy left from his like platoon or whatever. His, 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 uh, his group of fighting fellows and females. So that was a Stan Lee trick. And uh, so, so he's like escorting her and they meet people along the way that aren't horrible and like they all keep joining up oh but they have a tank and so like that's one of the running jokes is like these people all are stupid they're trying to attack us we have a tank like how the hell are they thinking they're going to stop us but I mean they almost get stopped a couple times I won't say the whole end of it but it's good I I, I love zombie stories so like when I saw this coming out I had to hunt it down too like my shop got the first one. It got the A and B cover. I bought them both, so no one else got it in this whole town. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you fix that problem. Yeah. Nobody reads it. But he didn't order anymore after that, so I had to hunt them down. And I found, I forget, I found the, the other the other ones at the same place. Number two, I found the two covers to number two, and I think there was two covers to number three. I only found one of those, so I'm still hunting that other one. I've read it now. It was good. When you were talking it. about it, like I've never read any of the Walking Dead. It's not one comic book I've read Walking Dead, but I watched the TV show for a while, and it sounded like the uh, redheaded dude and the mullet guy when he was. Uh, that's what it kind of sounded like when he was taken across the country, thinking that he had yeah. the you know not the cure, but he had some kind of knowledge. Yeah, it kind of is like that. They yeah, kind of that. they didn't have no damn tank though. That's the key right there. That's the no. They just you know. had that big deuce thing. They had yeah. that big. <laughs> Deuce and a half, I guess is what it's called. All right. Nemo Comics, number four. Number four might surprise you guys. It is a DC book. Sweet. Batman, Last Night on Earth. Three issue series, kind of like, uh, well, actually, is it three issues? Yeah. Four. Four? So there's got one. There's another one coming out? I'm not sure, because it took a while for the third issue to come out, but it yeah. was because of like some delays or whatever with the artwork and all that, but... Yeah, it was a good read. I mean, 
you, you find out Batman is just by himself. And, uh, well, at the beginning, he's you think he's crazy. And uh, you find out that he's the last night on Earth and he's traveling with the Joker's head and gets into some crazy stuff. But, yeah. That doesn't make him sound less crazy. He's No. <laughs> Walking around with Batman's head. Talking about some... Yeah. But, yeah, I like the read. It was really good. There's another uh, Black Label uh, story from DC, which is surprisingly doing well. I got to read some of the horror stuff that's coming out, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Maybe you'll get Barbarian's attention with that. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, yeah. the Basket Full of Heads has been good. I didn't read that other. There's another one that came out with oh, it, right? It was Dollhouse. And oh, then, I hadn't read that um, one. I figured I would give Basket Full of Heads a chance. Yeah. And if, it, if I liked it, then I would go pick up the, those back issues on the other one because my shop mm-hmm. had Like, nobody's rushing out there to buy that shit. Right. All right. So I will um, – I guess I will throw a wrench into it here. Wait a minute. <laughs> one, two, three, four – oh, I, I actually did six. Yeah, yeah. I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I'll cheat because I did want to mention this. I, one of them I had was a powerhouse – uh, power uh, in House of X, but since somebody copied me, on uh, copied, yeah. <laughs> um, I will say for the first time this year, I know, I know it's been a while, but uh, I had never read it before. Was Old Man Logan? I read that this oh, year. Yeah. That was really freaking good. Like I was surprised how good it was. I know people kept saying it was good, but when I, I think I read it, and I think I turned around back and, re- and read it a second time. Like I think I just re- immediately because it's only what, like three or four books. Yeah. Anyway. I went back and reread it. Um, so that I would say that would sit, but then the other one is the big green dork um, that I have uh, in Mortal Hulk. Um, I thought that was done really well. I felt like it was like an old school kind of way to do comics again. I did like the horror part of it. I know some people didn't, but I kind of did like that that part about the Immortal Hulk. So anyway, I, I, I don't know how to count to five apparently because I did six. So but so I, I will say those two because I I have forgot about um, <coughs> oh man Logan. And you know, I would, usually I would, like the original story, right? Not the one that they actually made a title of. No, 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 the one that's like you know, in Wolverine, the one there. in the Wolverine issues. Yeah, like, yeah, the Wolverine, okay. like two thirty nine yeah. or two four. Yeah, that's whatever. a great story. Like I was reading them as it came out. I was buying new stuff then, and buying that every month when it came out, and it was like I couldn't wait for the next one to come out. So, Barbarian, what is your last pick? Or I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> well maybe you only had four good reads it's fine we can do that i, uh, I really enjoyed reading the club chat um <laughs> i read that every day <laughs> well, um, what was some books interesting books? stuff in there and there's pretty pictures yeah. of people pooping <laughs> there's always a good pooping picture <laughs> every day at least one hey, hey drop that friend that's, up, that's always been fun <laughs> okay um, well, on, um there's a I was trying to remember, like we were talking about Boom Studios, and they did that once in future, but there's another book that they're doing, and the title slips in my mind, and it was it's been really good, and I can't remember what it is now, but go. once in future has been really good. I've liked that, and the first issue, like when the first issue was done, I kind of was like, eh, you know, it, I'll do the next one. I wasn't super impressed with it. But I've liked it. Like it's up to number five. I need to read number five. Because I Nemo, liked it more. Nemo, what is your last pick? Uh, my last pick, of course, it's I just stick to X Men all the time. All X Men things were related, but the newer X Men title that came out last year, still going ongoing this year. It's been a really good read. Um, Aikman's doing it as well. Um, but yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I really need to read all the X-Men, but I think I'm going to let people... Uh, I don't know. Oh, and my runner-up... Well, I guess it could have been, but yeah. King Thor was really good. Who? Um, King Thor, the little five-issue series that it came out. I must have missed that. I mean, I know everybody's talked about it, but I don't know if I... I can't remember if I read it or not. I don't think I did. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, that's awesome. I have to read that one, too, then. Mm-hmm. Well, super cool. I uh, so uh, that was our read top reads of 2019. Now we will move to our pickups of 2019. 
Okay. And since I've been collecting for about a year, maybe a little bit more, it'll be pretty much every book that I have ever bought for myself. And I was telling Barbarian, that's not a joke. People always think that I'm being silly or I'm, I don't know, being humble. But no, these are like the five pickups that I did. And every other book I own that is a really good book was a gift because every all of my friends are very amazing people. Mm -hmm. So uh, Nemo is also one of the <laughs> one of the friends are sick, sick people. Like, okay, I'll just want to point this one out. So I said this is one of my favorite covers because I love this as a kid. Barbarian said, Oh, that doesn't count as a gift because you bought that from me. Did I though? I mean, yes, I gave you money, but I don't know if I bought it. Like, yes, I <laughs> money was exchanged, but I don't know if it was money. All right, so <laughs> my number one pick, or not number one, no particular order. Well, I guess it is kind of an order, but is Spawn number one? I I told the story when I got it. Nice. Um, oh, I guess I should probably like do that whole thing, right? Yeah, there you go. Spawn number one. I told the story when I got it. I mean, I don't know why I did that. Everybody knows what Spawn looks like, but um, <laughs> as a kid, I never, uh, I never had Spawn because when I started, when I started collecting. It was like Spawn 3 or 4, and I remember as a kid, Spawn number 1 immediately, because it was the 90s. Every number 1 jumped up, you know, ridiculous right at the beginning. And so I could never get it. Uh, every friend I had that collect comics had it, and they made fun of me literally all the freaking time. You know how kids are. Wow, we yeah. are today. You know how our freaking comic club is. And so they're like, oh, 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 they would laugh at me. So, like, it was so why they make fun of you on that. Yeah, it's when such I, a graphic book. When I opened this, I, I was seriously like, I was super excited when I opened this because I was, oh my god, I, get, I got Spawn. I mean, it's not that it's a horribly cheap book, but it was like, I don't know, it was like one of those things from my childhood thing. It's a must have. I yeah. think every comic collector should have at least one Spawn one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably at least. All right, Barbarian, what is your one I like them. pickups? Are we just doing? Are we just gonna do them one at a time? Yeah, I think I like stuff that we bought. I like him probably. Okay. You do it however you want to do it. It's your world, man. It's my world. What's up, like him. Him. I'll put uh, this is a, a Girl, I like him. Well, shit, because these all go together. So So show them all together I'll then. Those, I'll do those last. So uh, there's a it's, it's like we haven't been talking about this for like a week or anything. It really is. It's like it's the last we're thing. We were gonna present it to the world on YouTube. <laughs> this is like what we were gonna show. But I mean, as everybody can probably guess, like I bought, I bought mostly Spider-Man stuff. But I was able to pick up this uh, ASM 101. Oh, get out of here! You what a jerk! This is your first one you're showing. Is this freaking book? Yeah, that's an awesome book. That's all I'm gonna I saw this uh, from Hulk Nuts. Off, uh, what know, a great book! And deadlifts. <laughs> Hulk Nuts and deadlifts. <laughs> but uh. But yeah, he was cool enough. Like we, we worked out a trade. I gave him a little bit of money and some books he was looking for, and uh, so that was really cool. But there's a lot of stuff that I was able to knock off of my Spider-Man list this year. Yes, and I know some other books. I assume that you're going to show, so I'm going to be extremely humbled by today's uh, broadcast. All right, Nemo, what you got for 2019? I got. I mean, I was surprised I got this for so cheap. It was uh, four dollars that I found it for, but I got. Um, it's my number one. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. This is the best <laughs> wild. Uh, my first book is uh, Gore Shriek, number one. And uh, I, I, ha I got this at the Con Atlanta Con with, with food. Yeah. And we got a good price on it. And I love Capullo's work. And this is his first artwork. That, well, his first artwork's in the book, right? Because the cover is not his artwork. Yeah. yeah, he did the interiors. Right. So the second issue, which I need to get still, is his first mm -hmm. artwork on a cover. Or number four, yeah. Is yeah. it the doll one that she's like eating mm -hmm. guts or whatever? Number three. Number oh. two is not, he didn't do anything. And number three, he did the cover on it. One with okay. the doll on it, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I yeah, definitely I need to get able to find that book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. All right. So, my next pickup of 2019. Ah, oh, Jesus. Stop giving me notifications. Is Thor number 337. I got this Ooh, about three crazy. days before I felt like everyone started talking about it and it started going crazy. So I got a really good price on it. Mm -hmm. um, I was very excited to get it. Uh, it was one of the ones I kind of always wanted, obviously. So super awesome because if I had probably waited even another week, I probably would not own it because it would be silly priced. So and like I said, it's really good. I actually bought this from a comic book store. 
And I feel like they were pretty rough on it on the grading, but they had some ridiculous versions on the wall and stuff that were pretty silly. So this is probably like one of their throwaways. So nice. it was it was pretty awesome that I got that one. And that's my number two, the old horse face. I was guess it was the first appearance of horse store. <laughs> Yeah, you can probably guess what my next one is. Oh, let me hold on. Let me get you going. <laughs> Boom. Who is it? Ah, Jesus. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, this was one of the Bring ones the that key. I was really, really happy to be able to check off of my list. And I got this from Andrew's Comics and Dogs off of Instagram. And deadlifts too, or just dogs? Team. He, he does comics. He does dogs. He does men. He does women. So, <laughs> it's, a, it's a real nice copy. Like I'm glad to have it. That's for sure. And Mylar makes it look even prettier. That's the key. It looks like a nine eight. <laughs> I was able to knock a lot of ASM off my list. So I was really, really happy. Focus and setting goals make a big difference. I feel like randomly. I feel like you got a lot of uh, of clangers and bangers for somebody who hasn't been sharing them with the community. Because I feel like you're yes. a little He's with those. I usually show everything on Instagram. Yeah, I know, but I, I feel like you know, there's the times where on our on our YouTube community, it's you got to make five videos on that one book you got. So I no, I'm it. home. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that face. He's making. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> I guess I'm humble. I, I don't like I'll share it and if you know it's, it's, go watch my old video. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, we don't have any more videos. I sent I sent him a box. I'm worried I'm gonna be on his worst packaging pack packers video. <laughs> I'm gonna start making packing on blast again just to do your box. Yeah, exactly. So when I when I came home and my wife goes, What is all what is this? And look down there and I, I seriously went, Oh my god, because I was like all of it was laid out like perfectly, like a little. And I just, kids, hurry up, get in the car and tape stuff up and left. I guess. I was like, oh. <laughs> All right, Nemo, what you got? 2019. My second pickup was, um, God, who did I get this from? I got to remember. It might have been Necro, but I, maybe not. I don't know. But this is the first Star Jammers uh, issue 107. And uh, yeah, it's a nice copy. Like it a lot. Nice. Noise and newsstand. Who's there? Who's there? I'm surprised. I didn't think we'd see any X Men tonight. Sorry. What? <laughs> That's awesome. All, All right. right. So, my third pickup of 2019. Hey, before you get going, we got to say what's up to Tank Lex. Oh, there's the Tank. Room. I'm sorry, Tank. Is that another one of these? Huh? Oh, is oh, another yeah. one of these uh, purchases? Blowing up. How, how do I do this? Purchases I made slash trade with uh, Barbarian Kung Fu. <laughs> and I think we all know what this is. Hey, we might have a few issues that we both show off, uh, girl. But yeah, that's a it's a dope, 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 dope book. Yep, that's a ahead. banger and a clanger. It's a banger clanger. It is definitely that. <laughs> My friends, it's definitely that. I'm really happy to get it. I, uh, I, th this is how this, I don't know if we were in a chat. I think we we're in the offline chat. And he was like, Oh, I have two of these. And I'm like, Oh, I need to get you one. He's like, Oh, we could talk about it. And then I said, All I have is the silver one. He said, What's a silver one? I said, This is the reprint. I don't have one of those. And look on his eyes. I was like, Uh, okay. <laughs> He goes, we do a trade. I was like, I don't think they're worth the same. I don't know. I, I don't have that silver one. I need that silver one. And I was like, Well, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're not worth the same. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I'd rather have that than two or one that I do. It's hey, money. Uh, before we continue, just got to shout out Fuchsia and I mean, um, Kachung and DK that's uh, also watching us as well. Delphia. On the TV. Oh, I'm on the TV. Mom, mm -hmm. look at me. I'm on the TV. We on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> look at that thing, Mama. Oops, that was the wrong person. I'm not, on the TV. <laughs> not that. Don't look at that. Oh, holy shit. So, all right, Foo, what you got? What so, you got for us, Foo? This year, I went really big with my man thing. 
Mm. I let my main thing hang out six months. We're about to get a lot of viewers. Or not too long ago. So oh, I got my yes. Savage Tales. Damn this freaking light. I got my Savage Tales number one. Got first to appearance the man thing. Mm -hmm. I was able to get that right before the end of the year. Freaking awesome. But I don't know that I even showed these to anybody else. I was also able to get this year. I think it's the Kazar 12. Yeah. Second appearance of man thing. <laughs> That's awesome. Who would have thought? Like I was able to get it. I ended up getting two of these because the same person I bought the Savage Tales from sent me one. But I got this from my boy Tank. Man thing number one from his first actual man thing. It's not the first man thing because the French Wait, the was you also said, a thing. You said, sorry. Oh. I said you said it was uh, Tank's first man thing that you got from him? Yeah, the first man thing I got was Tank's man thing. Right. And nice. The Tank's man thing. I'm not going to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> but I also was able to get Adventure in the Fear 10, which is the the first man thing self-titled man thing storyline in adventures ah, in the fear nice so i was able to get like all my good keys for man thing so i got all the hard man things that's good you trying to do the whole run so now i just need the filler the man right. thing fillers <laughs> all the fillers uh i got most of the run now too like this year i i this year, I knocked Man Thing out of the park. Uh, so, if anybody's wondering why Barbarian, and by the way, there could be a semi bi weekly auction starting, I keep reading about. Uh, if anybody's wondering why uh, Barbarian has been auctioning so much lately, I think we're starting to find out why. This year has been very uh, awesome, but also probably expensive. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I've spent a shit ton of money this year on comic books, but. Almost all of it came from selling comic books. So it's just like recycling. recycling. Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. tell the story whenever we get to like Literature. shit that happened this year. But like first thing this year, something really cool happened to me that allowed me to start the ball rolling. So that mm -hmm. was awesome. I got I got off Barbarian's That's man thing prematurely. Sorry about that. <laughs> all right. That's okay. Let's see your man thing. <laughs> all right, Nemo. What is your next pick? No man thing that I have uh, <laughs> to show, but it's another Garel favorite, another X Men book. Bam, 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 bam. I have that book. Holy cow! This is this is I got from uh, Necro, who's in the club. He got me a generous offer. Uh, this is first Kitty Pride. Uh, yeah. I think there's another first to it as well, but yeah, I, I love it. Love it. I love it. That <laughs> barbarian hooked me up so awesome with a cleaning and a press with that. My book went up from like a 0 0.1 to like a 0 0.5. It's pretty awesome. All day long. Very cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. Your boy, are you in here? Because my next pick is dedicated towards you, your boy. Here is uh -oh. my next one. Oh, yes. One of my favorite pickups. This is what kind of got me back into comics was... The sexy fella. Oh, other way. Right there. Teen Titans, number 12. The bat who cries wolf. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't that the fat man who claps? It's <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> there you go. It Wait, is... did you get that for a, for half of a quarter in a, in a, in a deal? No, that was a <laughs> I had to pay actual money for mine. <laughs> now, was it a day one purchase or is it a... Uh... No, no, no. That was a... Um... I, it was like that sweet spot where it kind of jumped up to like 100 and something. And then I got a, um, I got a, uh, eBay gift card for my birthday. And when I went and looked, they had went down to like, I don't know, pretty decent amount, like 60 or 70. Okay. And that was like about, I was gonna say it's about 60 now. Yeah. That was about what my, uh, eBay thing was. I think, you know what? I think I offered, because I think there was like three uh, bids, uh, auctions going at once, and they were all uh, graded ones. And there was one that wasn't, and there was like no bids on it. And so I offered the guy like five dollars less than what his starting bid was, thinking that he would probably tell me to kick a rock. And he was like, and he, he did it. He said, "Yeah, that's fine." So I was like, "Yeah, cool." And I got it. So I think I got like fifty-eight or something like that. Kachung said that he got his for twelve dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, yeah. It's a good buy. No, he got it for twelve point five cents. Oh, twelve point five. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it wasn't twelve dollars. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure it was less than that. 
He got it on half price day out of a quarter bin. Ooh. That's very nice. That's that's pretty freaking whatever. All right. <laughs> Barbara Kofu, what do you have next, sir? Oh, cool. It's my turn again. See, I'm right. um, This year, aside from comics, like one of my main things that I wanted to focus on besides buying new crap that it was just going to sit in boxes and buying old stuff that I really liked was art. So I wanted to start buying original art. And so I bought like this. This would be the first piece of original art that I bought this year. And I paid way too much money for it. But uh, this Arthur Stam did this at uh, Huntsville <laughs> Hunter Convention. And it's Wolverine eating spider ham, like zombie Wolverine. Nice. Have you yeah. ever showed this to me? I don't remember ever seeing this. I showed it the day when I got back, but I mean, that was it pretty much. It's just been hanging on my wall. That's so awesome. that was pretty cool. I'm really kind of bummed that Wolverine doesn't have his claws out, but it's not like I could stand there and be like, wait, wait, no, don't do that. I'm not going to tell the professional how to draw. Yeah. But it still looks pretty freaking badass, and he had no idea who Spider Ham was. I had to, <laughs> I had to go and Google it on my phone to show him what Spider Ham looked like. <laughs> That's so awesome. You must, you must have been angry and happy at the same time. Like I'm meeting you, but you're, you're making me mad. No one <laughs> I, I, I've met, like I told you before, Mo. I've met Arthur Saddam like four or five times. Every time mm -hmm. he's anywhere near Atlanta. I go there and I take way too much shit for him to sign because he's like my favorite artist. Like that dude. He probably crazy. that's probably why, probably why he didn't come the day we went. Probably, probably he was like shit. He in the building. building. He's like, uh -uh. yeah, I'm uh, not today. guy. The guy with the big beard. The guy that stalks me. I can't. I can't. <laughs> yeah. I can't do it. I, I, I gotta. I gotta bow out. No more. The gray leather. Every time I see him. Hey, dude. Uh, here's the thing, though. So we're in a chat one time, me and him, and he's asking me. I'm like, ah, sometimes I feel like I'm not really know. He's like comics that well, and he's like, well, he's trying to help me. He's like, who you like? So I tell him, and he says this this character's name, and I'm like, who? And before I can even say, oh, never mind, I know. I'd say thirty <laughs> pictures mysteriously pop up on the phone as I'm typing. Oh, wait a minute, I know who, and it's like <laughs> my phone just fills up with all these pictures. I was like, Jesus, how do you have those at the ready? <laughs> Yeah, I have a long box that's full of Arthur Saddam signature book, like signed books, and like I'd say like three fourths of it is his signed books, and then the other quarter of it is like books that I bought that I'm gonna have him sign. <laughs> so like every time I go to a convention, I don't even look at him. I just reach in the box and I mm -hmm. grab a handful like that. And I pull it up and I stick it in my bag, and I'm like, "This is what I'm getting signed this time." <laughs> You just want to get them all signed one day? Is that what you're saying, basically? Every, you book, every book that he's ever done a cover to, I'll have signed one day. That's what happens when you have OCD. <laughs> yeah. All, all right, right, Mo. Or if you're just crazy. Let's, Let's see what you got. I mean, that's the thing, right? <laughs> I just, uh, another X-Men book. Uh, Gambit's first appearance. First appearance. Not first cover appearance. First appearance. It's a shot at Key Collector because they can go to hell. But anyway, yes, X Men Two Sixty Six was a nice That's purchase, thing, brother. That yeah. only went on my list, but I had a feeling that Nemo might pop that one in there. Wow, that's what I was saying when I when I was looking at them. I was like, oh crap! I think Grell has all these as well this year. Yeah. But yeah, I got I got this one this year as well. That got that from Big Will only because like. For some reason, everyone thought like fifty five or whatever I paid for that was just way too much money, and I was like, "Okay, I'll take first and <laughs> second appearance of Gambit for like that. That's fine." <laughs> and it was nice too. It was real yeah. nice when you press. It was really nice book. Mm -hmm. All right, so mine was a group of books I bought. I've shown them before, but I will show them again because it is my favorite. And there's actually a, a, another one that went with this, but eh, I'll just show these. So it is Shazam, number 28. The key is the fella right there in black. Uh, forever People, I think we know why. I don't want to hear yeah. about no TV. And this one, probably one of my favorites. 
And I got all these and this from bought it from the same guy. Instagram is my first ever Instagram purchase. He was very nice. He did he gave me a very good deal and he held my hand and did not do anything horrible to me. <laughs> he touched you in all the right places. He he was a fine gentleman and did not take advantage. Now that I know about some of the back dealings of Instagram, I really could have been taken advantage of and I was not, and I do appreciate it. Hell yeah. I'm going to take a second to say what's up to the great legend is in the house. Yeah. Legend, legend. So I'll show two more, and then I didn't get anything else out. So um, it's two more pieces of art, like original art that I got. Um, this was uh, – it's a it's a print with hand that's hand-colored by Ernie's Art. He's a member Ooh. of our – Oh, I got that behind my sh shoulder, yeah. And it glows in the dark, too. I'm a sucker for glow in the dark stuff. I gotta love it. This is done so awesome too. I know that you do. So I was really psyched to get that. And the oh. last one, this uh, this is big. This I got done at Atlanta Comic Con by uh, oh, Don yes. Hilsman, Don Hillsman the second. And it, you probably don't know who that is, but he's worked. Should, let me get the glare off of it somehow. He's there you worked go. at a lot of different comic genre mm -hmm. like different comic companies or whatever but uh he's also a pro skateboarder that's how i knew him was from back in the day he was a pro skateboarder back when i was coming up skateboarding and i seen him at the con and i was like holy shit don hillsman <laughs> like, i know you i didn't know you do and then i come to find out like he does amazing work he did this whole thing like this is all hand drawn hand inked and uh i, I barely paid anything for it like it was so cheap and he did really good job. Like, yeah, he did. The detail in it, like all the buildings and everything. It and he gave you, he gave you a great price for that as well. Yeah, for so yeah, much, I, man. I, I would highly suggest if anybody is looking for some stuff. He's a busy guy. Like he get he does stuff so cheap. He's always busy. So you can go to his website and check him out. I don't know it, but it's there. Like you can Google Don Hillsman the second. He's on Instagram too. Yeah, he's a uh, DH. I can't remember. Don. Um, yeah, found it out. Something DH two. No, yeah, it's like numbers. Like you can just you know, you know, just that would have been me on Instagram, and I'll get in touch with him for you. There you go. <laughs> it would have been way way cool if you had got that Doctor Strange. He would have knocked it out of the park. But anyway, yeah, yeah. neither here nor there. Doctor Strange getting bonked on the head by Spider Ham? No, no Spider Ham nonsense. Is it pro? Go. I can't read that. Make his screen bigger so the world can okay. see. Okay. You still can't see it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's DH it's DH two something. DH two Pro works. There you go. Boom. Well, since we got Nemo, Nemo, what do you got? Well, it wasn't a book purchase but it was something i needed to have in my collection and uh i got the variant of Gan uh, magneto i was about to say gambit i'm sorry uh <laughs> jim lee signature look at that bad boy right on the x-men and a buddy i feel like i've heard of that fellow before our buddy hoser in canadia land can 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 canada collided in do they, read, do they read American words over there? That's weird. I don't know. <laughs> he was at a, the Fan Expo there, and uh, he got some of his stuff signed as well. I was hoping to get this graded, I mean, uh, slabbed and graded uh, just to keep, you know, in my PC. But this is good. Got it in a nice Mylar that, that he hooked me up with. So you can always send it to ETS and have it verified and yeah. whatever color you That's want. That's what I was thinking as well. I'm going to do that. because. Yeah. <clears throat> and if you use that code that Economics and Comics has, you don't even have to pay for the different colored label. Like, you can have whatever color label for free. Mm. Which is how yeah. I think it should be anyway, so it works out. <laughs> yeah. It, your boy says, if y'all ever look at the chat, because he said DH2 Pro works or something like that. So it's something like that. So you're not definitely sure, but then he makes a comment that's <laughs> never looking at the chat. So thank you for Yeah, that's that's it. DH2 Pro works. <laughs> so I'm gonna sell this one because I'm sure you guys are gonna talk about I know we're gonna talk uh about some of the stuff, cool things you must have done. I did not do anything cool except for work. 
And then obviously I have a cool wife. So I know I've showed this a thousand times, but I can show it a thousand times more. This was obviously the greatest thing that's ever been given. For ever. So it should be, the only, ever. <laughs> should be the only thing that you ever gotten that was the greatest thing. That <laughs> I, honestly, I don't know. I don't you know. Better know. Do like I don't know. Do you do know, Mr. Girl. That's the thing. You do know. I don't think anything will top it. No, nope. you can pull that right on over to next year's best thing I got. Oh, no. I, that's gonna be on there every year. I was gonna say, well, exactly. like, I didn't notice that like Spider Man was in the corner until 2020, so I'm just gonna put this as 2020. <laughs> and wait, it says 300 a bunch on the background. Didn't notice that, but let me show you again. Well, the problem is also that I got this from the boy who had seven, and then so like now there's like some numbers missing. Mm. I'm not going to once again for the fifth time in a row that I've seen Nemo say, I know somebody that has extras of some other numbers. <laughs> so keep putting that out there. But, I don't uh, know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So is there anything, have any uh, cool stories or events or anything you guys did for the 2019 world? I have lots of stories. I always have tons of stories. I'm I like have a storyteller. I have one that I'd share just because it was me and Fu, but going to Atlanta Comic Con was probably one of the big highlights from last year. Yeah, that was one of mine. It was really fun. Like that was the first time that me and Mo got to really hang out for mm -hmm. like more than a couple minutes at a shop, like or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And, well, uh, yeah, still like a few hours at the shop, but it was like a whole day. How strong I was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> My endurance. <laughs> I uh, I don't think I didn't grab anything from Atlanta Comic Con that I bought. Well, I got that that print, but it was it, I paid for it at Atlanta Comic Con. <laughs> it yeah. didn't get even sent to me for a couple months later. But whoa, my screen just went dead. Is where did this oh, come no. from? That was a different con. That was uh that okay, was from the Atlanta little mini con. con. Okay, so yeah. this is the best con that you guys went to. Last year, probably because it, was, it, was it wasn't a whole day experience con, but it wasn't yeah, bad. We really had fun there. Really. Yeah, we were there for like what, like four hours? Food? Yeah, me and Fu yeah. went on a love cruise together, but whatever. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Did you, Fu? Did you go on a I love cruise? I always tell everybody that I don't do anything with Tank, and it's supposed to be a secret, but here he goes telling everybody in the so chat. Means, yeah, lives together. Yeah, I'm like, hey, I'm going to run to the bathroom. I hop on a plane. I fly to California. I give Tank a big old hug. And I jump on a plane and fly back. And then I flush. And then I nice. run back down. All right. Uh, I'm sure I'll probably pay for this later because the people in our comic book club are so nice and understanding. And they never hold anything against you. And they're always so supporting. I love they're it. They're the greatest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 2019, honestly, it's probably, you know, I work a lot. And when you get to be old and stuff, you know, you don't do a lot but go work, go home. And so I guess get on YouTube and and, uh, and hanging out with Barbarian and uh, Tank and a few other people that I have and Mo, and also the Combo Club. That's been a pretty cool. Like I can't say there's one. I mean we've had some funny moments in there, but I think that's been pretty cool. Just meeting uh, a lot of a lot of sad moments for you though too, Mr. Crow. In the in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember those, but. No. Better uh, to have loved and lost than to have yeah. never loved at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, them like forming the club and joining the club has been like a big, a big part of my life this year. Like it's awesome to have friends again. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. The only thing about a comic, Atoka, sorry, and comic book lurking. I think that uh, the only the only problem and with that is, is right. that I have. Um, Oh yeah, R.I.P. Infinity for sure. <laughs> uh, is that I found out that you guys got into the club because you're cool, and I had to give away free books. So I mean, other than that, <laughs> I wow. Oh, my my stance, I, don't know. I had to buy my way in. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like I had to give out, uh, and it was just random too. Like um, uh, Ronin, the first Ronin, uh, I had. I thought that was a cool cover. I knew I didn't really know that much about it when I found it at the this random comic book shop, and they had like five of them for 
a dollar or two dollars or something like that. So I ended up getting like three of them because I decided it was a cool cover. And I couldn't decide which one I wanted because they all looked about the same. And I was like, well, what am I fighting over? These three books are still less than one new book. So I just got yeah. three of them. And it was just randomly that I got it. And I think, uh, well, I didn't give one away. I would have if I had known, you know, I got issues better. But uh, he asked me for, for it. Tonight, and so I sold him one. And then he asked me if I hold it for like four weeks, and I was like a week. But and so I, yeah, yeah, whatever. And if it if it goes up in price, then you know we'll 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 just keep the same price. If it goes down, then we'll just do the down. And then Necro reached out almost the exact same time, and I had just run. I think I saw told the story, but he had a giveaway, which I don't think Necro gives does giveaways. I don't know if that was the only time he ever did one or not. But he had like a giveaway or something, and I and I won it. And then he gave, uh, and then I gave him that book because I was like, "Well, I'm not gonna sell you a book after I just got like free books from you." That seems weird. <laughs> so I gave it to him, and then I saw that they were forming that club, and I was, "Oh, that sounds really cool! Like that sounds like a really cool thing, you know." But I actually didn't know if I wanted to join because I knew I did not know enough about comic books to be in a comic book club for sure. Yeah. Which I guess looking back on is kind of the backwards way of thinking about it. I guess you should really join a comic book club if you want to know more about comics <laughs> but exactly. i was like I, I don't think i want to be in a comic book club i don't know about comic books and so i uh when he was like yeah that sounds cool so i was like yeah cool i'll, I'll join yeah so i asked him about it and i went in there and immediately the first thing i saw was you guys were all uh showing pictures of like 200 dollar uh alternate covers and stuff and i was like oh <laughs> jesus what did i just get into? <laughs> i was cool. like yeah this is not for me at least that was your experience because my experience was very different. And <laughs> I, I came in and the first thing I saw, I mean, I don't even want to mention it, but it was just a lot of random um, weird <laughs> things that were said. And then I think either you or somebody was like, oh, wow. <laughs> no, maybe it was Sasquatch because he was joining uh, at the same time as me as well. And he, he was saying <laughs> something like, oh, I'm joining the wrong time to get in the chat. And uh, I was just like, oh, wow. But yeah, it, it was great. It was a great experience meeting everybody that way. The funny yeah, thing was, I think my issues was having all his toilet trouble, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, I think the funny thing is giving us updates on his shit. Yeah. <laughs> when when, oh, uh, when Sasquatch, I think, uh, I think I actually said that to him when he joined, because I think they were in a full-on rant about something. I can't remember. Asians being better than white people or something. I can't remember <laughs> what the rant was, but it was just a funny thing that was happening because our, our comic book group is like me and Barbarian are you probably... Are Necro. The, who? Necro? Or is he... Nah, he's something, I think. Okay. <laughs> he's something. And then Hoosier. Oh, Hoosier's Canadian. You can't get more... Woo! You can't get more white than that, baby. Hoosier? Yeah. Or Hoosier. I say Hoosier because it really bothers him. Hoosier? <laughs> Hoosier. <laughs> Hoosier. Like, like an Indiana person, Hoosier. Um, but uh other than that, we're we're pretty diverse, but like in not a serious way diverse. And so I think <laughs> when Sasquatch came in, I didn't really know how Sasquatch was gonna feel about that because right now everyone's so sensitive about stuff. We were full on in, in in it, like it was full on, you know. Well, this is the reason why we're, we're better. And I was like, uh hi, Sasquatch kind of came in this in an awkward moment. <laughs> Let me try to explain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Girl. You're Mexican, so. Well, you know. <laughs> well, I'm as good. they come. I don't. I think. I think if you cut me, I bleed white. <laughs> I had an interesting issue with uh, today at uh, the shop. Hopefully, they're not watching, but they are. I understand Spanish very well, and yes, I know you didn't like our glasses selection. So. <laughs> <laughs> The girl was making some comments, and I was like, uh, this is Texas. A lot of people in Texas speak Spanish. Okay. <laughs> so Dan clarified, Necro's Hispanic and white. Yeah. So Spaniard? So he's a Spaniard? Yeah, something. He's something. Who knows? Ethnic. And Tank is just a mix of things. I know part of it's Italian. <laughs> Tank's got to be like Eastern European mixed with, I don't even know, dude. That's mm -hmm. like. You can't get that hairy and that awesome without being a mix of a lot of stuff. <laughs> He's part bear from <laughs> Russia. And part unicorn. Part unicorn. <laughs> and then your boy is like, he got to be almost part chicken at this point. So we, we can have all kinds of crossovers happening. Yeah. Well, cool. Anything else cool that happened in 2019? Yeah, I have a, a little story to tell about something that happened to me really early on 
right at the beginning of 2019. Um, I, I've, I've told it before. Like I ran into somebody at a comic shop that was selling. They had a box of comics to sell, and the guy there didn't have any money. So he asked me if I was interested in it. So I went and I started looking at them. They explained hmm. to me that they had more boxes. That Hold on, this story. Hold on. I didn't know it was this story. Yeah. There you go. Highlight them. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yeah, you know, I'll come and check out what you got, and if I can afford to buy it, like I'll buy it. I'll make you an offer. I was like, if you have stuff that's so good that I can't afford it, then I'll at least price it out for you so you get a fair deal and maybe find somebody to buy it or whatever. When I got there, I was just totally blown away. It was like a full collection of Golden Age comics, and it wasn't just like a bunch of like you got four of this and six of that. It was like full runs of titles. And uh, it, on my channel, like I did a video of it, and it's just me flipping through the books. Like it's nothing, like I don't talk, it's just music over the top of it, I think. Oh no, I think I do talk at the beginning of it, but I say the same story. But uh, the books were awesome. Like it was so cool to see something like that. And the family was so happy. Like I was able to find them a buyer and get them a good price that both the buyer and them were both happy with, which barely ever happened. So they, uh, that's how I was able to start my year by buying stuff was when everything was said and done, they just gave me a whole shitload of money. Like they were like, here, you did so much for us. Like we thought we were only going to get like a hundred, two hundred dollars out of these. And I got them way more than that. And mm -hmm. so they, they gave me a whole bunch of money. They gave me a bunch of books. They were like, what I, I didn't want to take from the collection like I wanted to keep it all intact. So what I did was anything that there was doubles of, I, and I, if I liked it, like I took one of each title so I would be able to have that and remember it. And so that's the books that I'm going to show you now are the titles, except for like one or two of them. They didn't have runs of that, but like he had a whole run of like Fight and Yank. So this is Fight and Yank number 14. So yeah, and they're not getting you know, the same. Like I, took, I took the lowest the lower grade of the ones, like the better grade were still in there because I wanted the family to get as much as they could. I freaking hate when people show Golden Age because I really like it. <laughs> <laughs> this is one that I was just like, it's the only one that was in the whole collection. So I was like, yeah, this isn't really part of it. And it's awesome. So this is technically my first real Golden Age book and it's Science Comics number eight. Ooh, look at that one. God dang it, I like Golden Age. And this yeah. is a, uh, I forget if it's called, if he was called the Blue Beetle here, but it's the Blue something. Maybe it's the Eagle. I can't remember. Oh, shit. What's that mean? I have to look it up again. And I didn't write it on the back, but it's by Fox Press. So that's pretty awesome. Do I feel like every Golden Age could hang on a wall like no problem? You could pick a poster of like every cover. Yeah. Yep. There was also a full run of Starling Comics. This is Startling Comics number four. Look at them legs. Oh! I know that that's not PC, but that's what they were called back then. This, the Japanese soldiers. And he's mm. like stalking them in his speedo. <laughs> and he also had a full run. And when I say full, I mean, there might have been one or two missing. But I'm talking like 30 or 40 in runs that he had. But this is number, uh, number 31, a doll man. I, I grabbed this one because there was other doubles, but this one has a jetpack on it, and I really like the old sci-fi kind of uh, the Golden Age sci-fi books. So that's pretty awesome. I don't know. Can you see it from back there? There's the jetpack. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's pretty sweet. Nice. And then this is uh, this is another one that he had a run of, and this was he had like the full run of this. It was crazy. This is number 112 of feature comics. And I grabbed that because it just has that awesome eagle cover. <laughs> this, is, this is Doll Man. That's where he previewed, like, he premiered in feature comics and then had his own one. Or is that just a really big. Yeah, yeah, he's a little guy. Like, he's tiny. Oh, okay. Hey, on that size comic, do you know what's inside of him? Have you ever read it? The size? Science. The one, like one book. No, I, I've never read it. Like, I'm, it's kind of fragile. Oh, okay. It's not in like the best shape, so I'm kind of scared to handle it too much. Um, and then the last one I got 
Well, no, well, the last loose one. I also got a Wiz number 31. So this is like the oldest superhero comic I have. That is awesome. Captain Marvel on it. Hmm. Also got a story by Spy Smasher. And it's like one of those like War Bond covers. Like, why yeah. War Bonds? <laughs> yeah, Barbarian, you probably don't need that one. You can send that one over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a Captain Marvel, but it's not. It's newer than that one. But this is the coolest one I got out of all of them. It's Target Comics number 12, I think. Yeah. And it's slab to 3.5. Oh, that's there was, cool. there was a couple slabs in there. Now, this is the lower of the two that were in there. Like, there was another one in the collection that was nice. And so that's the reason I took the slab. Otherwise, I would have left it in there. But this is actually worth less than the one I left in there, in other words. But it's cool to have a slab, too. And it's not an it's not the old old slab, so it's fairly new newly slab. But I got all those awesome books. I got other books that I didn't show. Like there was some more modern stuff. I got a Wolverine number one, and I got the first appearance and the second appearance of Power Girl. But I sell that off. Like some of the stuff I got, and I explained to the guy that some of the stuff I had asked for specifically so I could sell it to buy stuff that I wanted. And he was fine with it. Like he did. I don't care. Do whatever you want with him. Really That's fine. awesome. That's a. I mean, those some awesome books. Holy crap! I was going to yeah. show my kind of last thing. I don't even know if he's in here, but it doesn't really matter. Um, my favorite thing is kind of like friend thing. Plus, uh, it's not good though, just because of what it started. Um, is I don't know if uh, the great Harry one tank is still in here, but no, no, no. when tank oh, yes. is me. Oh, yes. All these strange tales, and I got more of them. He sold me so <laughs> many of these, and obviously he gave, you know, um, he gave more than friends uh, prices on these. And nice. they are awesome. Like I said, I mean, I still have a whole, you know, I got so many of these things. And then, um, obviously, afterwards, he, you know, gave me, like everyone does, like all the, a whole bunch of... Uh, Doctor Strange from like the 80s and the 90s that are all worth like, you know, 15 of them are worth 25 cents or something. So, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that is awesome. That was probably, yeah. other than the pickup where I got, you know, all that Kirby, this is probably it. The only reason why that I'm, I'm not like, oh, this is definitely the best is because uh, the rest of the ones I'm missing, because now like, you know, the trigger OCD, I mean, there's a few that aren't crazy, but there's like some really expensive ones. Yeah, so, there's some dollar books. Yeah, some of those ones I'll never ever own because they're like you know thousands. <laughs> but so that's the only reason I'm like ah, because I know that that it's it's there and they're awesome and I've read I've read a lot of them, but I, I don't I mean I've read them online. I don't really open them or anything. But um, <clears throat> and I know because I know some of the ones I've read online I'm never gonna own. But yeah, so that was that's pretty that's pretty awesome. Strange Tales collection that from oh, from yeah. the Mhm. Mm I also wanted to show these books real quick. Is they tie in with that whole Golden Age collection. The guy that I hooked them, I'm not going to say who it is because I don't know if he wants me to. And like, I don't want to make anybody mad or whatever. But he, uh, because I hooked him up with it, like he was happy that to get it. Like, like I said, he got a good deal on the books, just like they got a good deal. It was their father had died and he was in his 80s, like late 80s. And so it was the family trying to sell his collection because they didn't, none of them collected comics, but, but the guy who bought it and I didn't ask for anything like I, out of the whole thing, I didn't ask for anything except for some comics. Um, but so from the guy that bought it, I didn't ask him for anything. I was just like, yeah, just help them out. But he sent me the first appearance of black cat. Nice. And cause like he asked me like what I collect. And so basically, I sent him my list, <laughs> and and he sent me ASM one twenty two. So both of these, I was able to knock off my list this year. Dude, what do you have left? The the like first five or something? The crazy I ones? It up today, I have twenty six issues left. I have twenty five from under fifty, and one that's over fifty. Hmm. All right. And I guarantee, if things go like half as well this year as they did last year, I'll be able to get. Where I only need stuff under fifty. Nice, young. He said he didn't want to say the guy's name. Don't be, don't be giving up. <laughs> <clears throat> All 
<clears throat> yeah, so anybody out there who thinks Barbarian is the prettiest man on YouTube and you have, like, you know, the first few Spider-Mans, you know, either give him a super chat or gift him the book. <laughs> or buy his boxes. Support or buy him. boxes, yes. And then he can buy those comics. Okay, I don't know if I should say I this. I got I don't know if I should... So. should I say this? I don't know. I feel like this is going to sabotage you a bit, but I'm going to say it anyway. Anybody knows Barbarian knows that he's too much of a sucker to, like, make the books the box is probably profitable so they're probably going to be more hooked up than they should be that's all i'm going to say about his boxes <laughs> i doubt they're going to be <laughs> i explained this to my wife today i have bought so many collections and so many like four for a dollar long box comics and shit like that over the past year that i don't even look at what the books were when i'm putting them in these things like i just like it says on my thing, you get a first appearance, you get a number one, you get a DC, a Marvel, you get either a silver or a bronze age, which I had to change it to either or because I realized I just don't have that much silver age stuff that I would put in a box for $12. Like most of the stuff I have is keys and I'm not going to just give away all my keys for 10 bucks unless they're really low grade. But anyway, so yeah, I'm putting stuff out like the boxes that I put together. I think I sold seven. And I know at least every one of those boxes has had one book that was worth more than what the whole thing costs. Yeah, I figured as much. If you go by Key Collector app anyway. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I was going to buy, well, one, uh, money, money, money. But I was going to buy a Barbarian Kung Fu box, but I don't know if I trust you to send me a Barbarian Bar Kung Fu box. It'd be a box. From Barbarian, so I don't know where you're going with this. Because her girl, I would be afraid that uh, it would be a little bit more than a just a Barbarian Kung Fu box. I'm sure. Well, you know what he'll do, uh, since he know you're buying it, he'll just make sure it's like not resellable. So you're just getting like the bottom of the bottom of his collection. <laughs> Either that, or he'll give me uh, He'll give me all the Doctor Strange that he has left or whatever that's like a dollar, and he was and I, he'll, he'll know I'll be like woohoo, <laughs> even though everybody else will be like what the hell is this? Yeah, and I'll be like woohoo, best box ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I let people tell me get like give me suggestions on what you want. That was one of the things like I liked buying like the Bueller boxes. Like I've never been disappointed by mm -hmm. one, and like I won't say the same about other boxes I bought. But the price that you pay for his, like, it's like, I don't care what I get. It's send me books. Like, it's hey. going to be worth it. The and only that, thing, that, like, about mine that's any different than his, really, is that, like, you can write me when you pay and you say, hey, this is a couple of the characters that I'm into. If I have anything like that, I'll set, I'll put it in there. If right. I don't, then, you know, you're still going to get your money's worth. Um, there was one person. And I had to, like, only, it's only happened with one person so far that bought one. And it was somebody that I don't know. And they wrote me, like, specific comics. Like, get me this number 40 and this number 6. And I'm like, yeah, dude, you totally missed what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> I had to write him. I was like, you were way too specific. <laughs> How yeah. about we break it down? And he's like, just give me cool covers. I'm like, let me get I'm that uh, the AM, <laughs> ASM 129 from you. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I collect this artist, and when I googled that artist and looked at it, it's all like Silver Age stuff. I'm like, what? The fuck is that? In your twelve dollar box, you want me to send you like as much of this Silver Age artist as you can? Pope says, do you have any? Uh, uh, oh, I know Pope. I know uh, Pope would like probably some of those Ashcan things, but Pope uh, service is in here. What's up, man? Well, he had a question that he wanted to ask you too. Uh, I don't know if he was. Um, wait until we were done. But what was it? He did ask one. It says, "What if I ask for obscure indie books?" Box. Oh yeah, if you got a box, yeah. But nice. If you ask for a box full of obscure indie books, I can give you some because I have some obscure indie books. I got shit from like Eagle Comics. I got shit from like Comic Co. I got. I don't know if that's obscure enough for you or not. <laughs> I got shit that's printed in black and white. <laughs> I got, I got a lot of weird I stuff. Does like a lot of black and white. It's yeah. one of his favorite type of artwork. artwork. Uh, but you no, know, he was saying earlier. Um, 
Where the hell is it? Yeah, so after he was done, he was going to ask something. I mean, oh, science comics. Uh, what's yeah. inside of that? And what are the stories? If you've, if you've read them. I don't know if you've read them or not. No, like I said, it's kind of fragile. Hmm. Well, I did mention that well, you, you haven't opened it. So what's it's, in it? it's, got, it's got stories uh, from Cosmic Carson. Well, you can't even see this because I'm facing the wrong way here. It's got uh, uh, Carson stories. It's got Harrisville pain in uh, the Eagle Dynamo. Maybe that's who this is, Blue Dynamo. I can't remember because I looked it up. That's one of the things I had to do with that collection is go through and price every single book in the collection to get them an idea of what they were worth. Right. Um, but I can't specifically remember... Parker said he wants that comment. No. <laughs> <laughs> no not, not comic. Comet. C-O-M-E-T. He wants to comment? Yeah. He's going to say no again. What comet? <laughs> comet Carson? Cosmic. 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 He says comet. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I I have no plan to sell any of those Golden Age books. Oh, you will. Oh, but you will. well, like I told a guy, like if if I could take one or two of those things and get my ASM fifty, mm -hmm. I would do it. Because Hope I have no like, I have some attachment to them, but at the same time, like going through that dude's collection, like you get to like get a feel for somebody when you have to go through their shit. I would like you to that. understand how they think and like this guy was like all about collecting what you love. Like the people say that, but his collection was so like laser driven. Like he didn't break out of this and buy like some of this or some of that. He had no boxes of random stuff. Mm -hmm. His random stuff was like, I got all star comics. I got like 40 issues of all star comics. And it's like, okay. Uh, <laughs> So when you um, I guess read it for a couple of years and didn't like it anymore. <laughs> so I've heard like a few stories about that. One hilarious story was uh, a, a well, I'll just say his name because I could care less if he gets mad at me. Jeffrey Comic Con, he uh, he uh, cl cleaned up uh, an uh, uh, apartment. I don't know how to say this. Um, I guess it's not his real name, so maybe they can track him down. I don't know. And it was the guy's <laughs> collection of um, uh, lady books, I guess. Like a teen amount of of adult uh, viewing, like five, your, your boys six, in here. We got children in here. Yeah, right? five six feet tall. <laughs> although the like a hoarder style. Well, there was like only pathways to his house that was not stacked up to the ceiling, basically. And then this guy's collection. So, what do you think is better? Do you think it's better to hold on to your books and die and have your family deal with it, or do you think once you get up there, should you start whittling it down so they don't have to deal with it? I think my after going through this dude's collection and seeing what happened, if, if if this lady that brought them to the comic shop would have ran into somebody that didn't have a heart and didn't have you know a soul and was just like, yeah, your collection's worth like a thousand bucks. I'll buy it all right now. Here you go. She would have bought it. She would have sold it for a thousand bucks. She was willing. Like when I told her <clears throat> before, I had looked up a single comic. When I pulled out the first box and saw it was all Golden Age stuff, it was all in Mylar, and all of it was like, you know, it was it was taken care of and organized and everything. I pulled out that box and I lifted the first one up and I was like, "You realize what you've got in here?" She's like, "No, we have no idea." I was like, "How many more boxes are these are there?" She's like, "There's like 20 over there, and then we still got more in his room that we got to pull out." And I was like, you have like, not like hundreds of dollars. You have thousands of dollars of comics in here. And she, and the ladies, like she stopped in her tracks, jaw dropped wide open. Like, huh? <laughs> she was like, I went to the store expecting to sell that box for like $20. And I was going to offer him the whole rest of the collection for like a thousand dollars. And I'm like, I'm so glad that you saw me. <laughs> <laughs> Because I knew, I mean, as soon as I saw it, I knew I wasn't going to be able to buy it. Yeah. And I was like, okay, now, like, 
you have to turn that like salesman. I'm, I'm trying to get this shit cause I want to flip this cause it's a collection into like, I got to use my heart and I got to do good for these people cause that's the right thing to do. Yeah. But I thought about like when I die, what's going to happen with my stuff. And so like, I've been trying to, that's one of the reasons why I'm trying to get rid of all the crap and get it whittled down. Like I got thousands of comic books here and my family wouldn't know what to do with them. I told my wife, like I went through the key collector app, you know how you can log your shit on there yeah, and it'll tell you like, as far as what you've got logged, what it's worth. I was driving to uh, my brother's house the other day and I was just randomly looked at it. I was like, look, it says that just the stuff I had in there is worth like 10 grand. She's like, so that ain't nothing. I was like, well, I mean, I hadn't barely put anything in it. <laughs> so like the right up there, I'm adding in my Spider-Man stuff just mm -hmm. for my ASM collection. When we get to the house, I was like, I'm almost done. It says I'm up to 15. Is that impressing you yet? <laughs> like she didn't care. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to take somebody to like, somebody's going to have to help regardless. Well, I'd, unless I'd, sell have a, I'd have a backup for that. I wouldn't rely on Key Collector when it comes to like years from now. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. I I know it's not like that's not the value of it. Like it's No, I mean like you know, just you probably have a box that you want to keep you know, like your personal personal collection. I mean aside from that sweet uh what do you call it? The your drawers full of ASMs and stuff. Yeah. 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 Yeah, right. I've already told my wife, like, if I die, whatever's in the filing cabinets, that's the stuff that's going to get you the most money. Yeah. Like, I've kind of tried to go over what I have with them, but. All right. I'm so hoping that boy, one of the members of the club is still alive when I die. <laughs> your boy and all uh, children, it is time to go to bed because we are about to mature this stream up. Oh, get out of here, Craig. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, time? Where's, the comics? Where's his intro music, bro? You're slacking on the intro music, man. Is that fire time? 30 bucks a month to spend on the extras. <laughs> right. You could have told me I would have played something for him. Oh, well, Are sorry. We watch the X World Burn. What, it would have been like the, it would have been the big band stuff because he's an old man. Like, da 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 all right, so Peter, you've heard of our little thing here. So, do you have quickly a, no warning whatsoever? A couple of your best reads of the year? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, Daredevil is probably my favorite series of the year. I mean, Mortal Hulk is great. If it weren't for Mortal Hulk, I think Daredevil should have won. Before, before, you, year. before you continue, uh, but you made it a good, good point. Everybody needs to take their motion sickness pills because Parker's on. So there's no <laughs> <laughs> a lot of camera motions going on. <laughs> I like to be proactive while I'm filming, all right? <laughs> I think you strap um, your camera to a little bouncy ball. <laughs> I didn't want his GoPro. No, he, he stuck it on his dog, and his dog's just moving everywhere. <laughs> I, you know, it's funny. He was talking oh, about shit. his dog, and he said his dog is, like, so hyper. And I'm just thinking, I don't think it's the dog. I think he picks up from the owner. Like, that's, like, the two <laughs> most perfect yeah. animals for each other. He's like, I don't know why he's like that. He's just so hyper. I'm like, I can't imagine why he's so hyper. <laughs> I have no idea why. I don't know. <laughs> uh, what else did I like this year? Um, oh, yeah, your top five uh, reads. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking of reads. What have I read that was really good? Uh, I liked Die for like the first few issues, and then I, I stopped too, I around think. like five. But I've been like, picking it up. Yeah, Die that was pretty darn good. Popular for you to like that, that's weird. I know. I can tell you what my least favorite series of the year. I, know, was, I, I bet you give you five crappy ones. Yeah. Let, me five give you, ones. let me instead give you five bad series. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's actually <laughs> worked for me. Yeah, Guardians <laughs> of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy, <laughs> Silver Surfer, Silver Surfer Black. Wow. wow! According to yeah. that, that means that you must have liked Major X. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 House of X. House of X. 
House of X, Powers of X, Major X. <laughs> I totally forgot about oh, Major Jesus. X. That was Major <laughs> X. I never yeah. made it through the Nobody first remembers Wait a minute. I did make you it to the first one, but that. I couldn't make it to the second one. That was a really yeah. good one, was it? I don't want to get mad. Did you actually mm -hmm. spend money on it? I bought I like the first three to send it to uh, uh, Issues, and I haven't done it yet. Right. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Uh, that's what uh, he's gonna do. Is he gonna immediately throw in the trash? Is he gonna keep it because it came from me? Before they put it up. Probably will. Yeah. Well, I don't thought, forget. Uh, go ahead. That guy and issues are, are good buddies. He he, he wished issues a oh, happy yeah. birthday. So he gave him a birthday wish. Yeah, really? they're best friends. They have sleepovers. I think. I showed my wife that like three times. She just stared at me. She was like, "I don't understand." But issues doesn't. He doesn't care for his art. And I'm yeah. like, no, not not even a little bit. She goes, then no. why was money spent for this? And I was like, because we're friends. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't understand the problem with this concept. Because <laughs> he's got friends, and friends do these to each other. I, I'd, <laughs> like, I'd like to also add uh, who else's birthday is today that you might know, Grill. Jeffrey Comic-Con. Oh, birthday. yeah? Really? Happy birthday, buddy. Heck yeah, uh, is he here? I don't know if he's in here, but... Maybe he'll catch oh, him. if it's his birthday, he's out he's out probably chasing <laughs> that big old booty. He likes he likes the booties and he likes them big. Mm -hmm. Don't we all? <laughs> so, um, uh, what was your? Did you have any events that you liked? Any cons or anything that you did this year, Peter Parker? Uh, not really cons. I liked the uh, Absolute Carnage event. I was pretty into it. I bought like most of the tie-ins. I was happy about that. Now, did you Part go full hog like uh, Necro? I didn't. Did? Like, no, I, didn't I didn't overdo it, but I tried <laughs> to get every every printing of the regular run, but I did not get all the like. He got everything, every store variant, every every like ratio variant. I couldn't do that. That was too much. I remember me and Barb seriously were talking about us trying to find a way to get random people to make other variants just so we can make yeah, a enough like money for you, <laughs> just like. Just find why, like, why do we need to get anybody when we got Fu and Sasquatch and whoever else is in there? You, Garou. Okay, do it. But I just meant like find that one random shop in like Scotland who always has like five of them that you can get, and it's like you know people pay a lot of money for. It. It's like oh, I found this one, Negro. It's it's pretty awesome. Don't you need it? <laughs> but yeah, okay. Jeez. Then yeah. what about pickups? Did you get any sweet pickups this year, other than just ones you always get to sell? I did. I have a bunch. Yeah, I have some I can show. His number uh, one is House and Powers of X. Twenty probably, copies of those. <clears throat> probably so that. Nothing very run. Run. <laughs> I will admit, I bought three copies just this last like week and a half of that. I think it's Powers number three had that hidden variant with Magic and mm -hmm. Nightcrawler, and then it was like yeah. Colossus and Rasputin or something. So I bought a couple of those. Here's one for you, Craig. Yeah, yeah. Doctor Strange. What the hell? Yeah, I'm keeping this, but it's uh the flight of bones. <laughs> what a jerk! <laughs> oh, you'll love it. I'm keeping it. What you're telling me, I love it. Yep. That is awesome, actually. Um, this whole that Marvel Comics Presents reboot was pretty overhyped just because of Wolverine's daughter, but I got all those. Um, was that a good read? Did you actually read them? I did read the first two or three, and then it became all about her, da his daughter Rain, or whatever. And I kind of stopped, but I kept up on like spoilers and what was happening and shit. Yeah, that kind of bothered me, so I didn't really pay attention. So was that legit, his daughter? And it's not no kind of retelling of the story that's his daughter. It is, but she's like, I don't know if it's like from a different timeline or different universe, but I mean, it, it's his daughter. It's just sort of there wasn't much explanation to it. Unless that came one to one of the last issues I missed, but um, shit, I got this. The first, uh, first Ghost and first Nightingale, Nightshade. Sorry, Jesus. Nice. From uh, Captain oh, Adam, one. All oh, right. On. I, thought, I thought I got the first appearance of the Question. It's a Captain, a Captain Adam three. No, Blue Beetle. I don't know if it's Captain Adam or Blue. It's Blue Beetle. But I ended up getting a reprint, so I was kind of bummed about that, but. Oh. oh well, what else came out? This I got at the beginning of the last year. The Heap number one. Ooh, it's nice. like uh, he came before Swamp Thing and Man Thing. It's pretty fucking cool. So that's a cool one I got. Nothing comes before my Man Thing. 
Nothing comes before my giant size man thing. <laughs> I got these uh, prototype-ish things. This one's a savage thing. Savage dragon prototype where he's just the dragon. Yeah. <laughs> and then that one's the first uh, pit in Malibu Sun. Pit preview. First, I don't even know. I'm try still trying to get the spawn one. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Malibu it's like Malibu Sun 13, I think. Yeah. I picked up a really, really high grade. This was my only convention pickup this year that wasn't like a dollar bin, 50 cent diving shit, whatever. Nice. This cost me like, what is it, 75, but it's like very fine, very fine plus. Nice. Jeez. Cool. Dropping them hammers, dude. Yeah, I know. What comic, what cons have you gone to this last year, 2019? I mostly just did local ones. There was one in Des Moines, I did Wizard World in Des Moines, and then other than that, it was purely. Local at a hotel, just five guys selling shit. Oh, was it now? Uh -huh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> this was the. Uh, I, I did get the whole run of Silver Surfer Black. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to judge something until I buy it and read it, you know? <laughs> true, true. But I had to throw this with my Thor versus books. It wasn't bad. It was interesting. It was just too. Two Silver Surfer. He's always like big crybaby. <laughs> Woe is me. But Kate's went too like existential. It's too much like his character. Yeah, it's too much just like it he's was, supposed to be. <laughs> um, I got these. The set. Oh here, my god! Oh, that's awesome. Right? You can send me those. Uh, if you well, can. Well, it's not a Silver Surfer four. It's the I don't even know Silver Surfer number one variant. Oh okay. I just but, like that. I, I mean, obviously, I mean, everyone likes that. Classic, yeah, but that about does it. I, mean, I just remember when I was talking to people trying to find my favorite character, and I would say Thor. People were like, Yeah, that's cool, Doctor Strange. Ne you know, Nemo would say, You know, uh, I, I like me real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. That, that'll wrap me up. Oh, These oh. are like uh, second printings of the Hulk books. Oh, nice. Yeah, you got the zombie one. That's yeah. like a print. Cool. We, yeah, this is at the con that me and Fu went to, signed by Sedan. Allegedly. Sedan. Allegedly. How do you correctly say it? Can you guys cite him or? I always say Suyadam. Who knows? I asked him at a convention one time how he said his name, and he told me that it was Sadam. Okay. I'm going with that. Who <laughs> has his, like, that. His, uh, his dryer oh. lint in his house, so he knows how to say his name for sure. Oh, so that's this one. <laughs> oh, that's, Ooh, awesome. that's that's cool. Nice man, and he's cheap too. He doesn't charge much. I think he was he was free at a. <laughs> Local con we had, what do they call those? QC, QC Quad Con. They do them like every three months, and he showed up at one of them. Well, what was cool with him is that you'd have to buy his prints, like at least three of them, and then he'd sign as many books as you want. Was that right, Fu? Or maybe like yeah. 10 books? That sounds That's right. Yeah. Yeah. He had some kind of deal where you buy three, you get one free, but if you buy a, you can buy one print, and he'll sign pretty much anything. If you have a shitload like what I take, like I buy four. I always like. I I make it worth his while. Yeah, sure. I mean, when I paid for that thing he drew for me, I paid for that and bought prints and and had him sign, probably like twenty five bucks that day. Pope yeah. said it's it's like four door sedan. <laughs> four sedan. Doors sedan. sedan. Yeah, but it's sedan. 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 What was that last book, Peter? I missed it. Oh yeah. So this was the prototype for. All right, get down, buddy. Oh, sorry. Ugh. Uh, prototype for Swamp Thing. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. real cool. And it's oh, high grade. Right. I got this for steel. So those are pretty much my highlight pickups that I've just had sitting here because I can't decide what I want to do with them. Yeah, the other day I was thinking maybe I'll give myself a budget. I don't know how sell books or something. I don't know, and have <laughs> have somebody pick me up something to see to eat to. Then I thought I don't know. I feel like cons are too crazy to ask people to do stuff for you. Like it just seems like they're too much. Yeah, people are busy, plus everything's, like, overpriced. They charge an arm and a leg for stuff that shouldn't be. No, I just mean, like, uh, I probably want, like, a art or something, a print or something. I don't think I'd want oh, yeah, a book. signature or whatever. Yeah. It, it's it's off and on, though. Like, as far as their prices, I've gone to cons, and, yeah, there's, like, a book that should be 60 bucks, and they're asking 75 But then I've gone, and I've bought a book that was 100 bucks that should have been 300 bucks, And I'm just like, why the hell is it so cheap? And the guy tells me, I want to sell all this stuff and not take any of it home with me. And so yeah. I priced stuff cheap. I bought, like, I think I spent 
yeah, I, I ended up spending like 500 bucks at that dude's booth. Bought almost everything I bought at Huntsville at one guy's booth because oh, yeah, you went to that Alabama con. I should have gone to that one. But yeah, it great. like that one dude made it worth it. I got a yeah. I got an Amazing Spider-Man seven, and I got the first appearance of Shocker, and I mm. paid like 200 bucks for both of them. Would have been and nice. I to see, uh, too. Like I got a lot of good stuff from that dude. It would have been nice to see uh, Big Will as well and check yep. out some of the shops. This one I got to yeah, meet Big Will. And I was so we're new we're to Instagram, I didn't know that you could mute your conversations with people. Mm -hmm. Somehow I had muted my conversation with him, so I didn't get notifications whenever he wrote me. So like <laughs> the whole time I'm there, I'm like, why the fuck ain't this dude calling me? Like, thought we are going <laughs> to hang out. And then I look down, he's like, he's been trying to write me the whole time. He's like, well, I guess I'm leaving. <laughs> hey. Oh shit! I missed him. <laughs> Jeez, I always thought I always feel like uh, Big Will would be like I don't know. He always like he has such a game plan at um at cons. They would be like you would see him and then you might not see him again because I feel like he's got like game plans. When I've heard him talk about cons before, like I yeah, he's got to hunt. When you're there, you got to hunt. Man. That's right. He, he's an organized guy. He definitely like goes in with his mind. Like this is how it's gonna go. That's the same way I do it though. When I do conventions. Like I've said before, like I go in and with a, with a definite game plan on how I'm going to attack. Them. Otherwise, yeah, you're just what? roaming around, bumping into people. Like, uh, can I take a picture of your cosplay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate that. That's that's all right. One of the best things is on the Sunday or the last day is when they'll they're willing to take a lot of offers. So that's yeah. you almost want to hold out till Sunday. Yeah, whatever the last day would be. For that, yeah. what you said, like guys just don't want to haul all that home again. So, like, fuck it, yeah, whatever, I'll do it. Deal. Yep. Twenty bucks for this I, whole long box. <laughs> that I'm, one I'm last time we went to the Atlanta Comic Convention, I bought a long box. Somebody had a dollar comic thing, and they didn't have a deal or anything. And I asked the dude, I was like, "Hey, how much you charge me for a long box if I just fill it up?" And mm -hmm. what he what he the number he told me. I just started literally grabbing handfuls of stuff to fill the box up. Once I went through everything and picked what I wanted, I just yeah. would grab handfuls to fill the box up because I wanted to fill a box up. Right. Like I need that. I need it full so I can get that price. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So, um, well, I guess let's before we go, let's talk about that. So, what is your, uh, what are your, like I don't know, because you can probably talk about it forever. But it's like three things. Uh, food that you want to get done in the next year? Well, I definitely want to have enough money saved up to do something like to actually go to C2E2 and, and do something. I'm not really concerned with buying books when I'm there, but there's people going to be there to get stuff signed. David and, Finch. Yeah, I just saw he was on there. Like He did a bunch of stuff. He did the World War Hulk stuff I saw. He did a uh, uh, freaking... Messiah Complex. He, mm. he did a oh, bunch yeah. of work in that. And Batman. so like, I have that whole series. So I'll probably Great. take some of that stuff and take... I don't have any Batman stuff. I don't collect Batman, so... That a boy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious when we all get there, are we all just going to ignore each other and split up and go our separate ways? Like, nah, <laughs> screw you. I'm on the hunt right now. Leave me alone. I got to hit the dog. You never know. I mean... Yeah, but what's going to happen at that Airbnb once the, you know, once the, everyone's back for the night? There's going to be Once the bad. lights go down and the music <laughs> low. Is there what a happened? book that you would be sad if you did not get in 2020, Foo? Um, I am mean, definitely, there. like, my first thing that I want to get that's big, that, like, I, I don't care if it takes all year, is I'm going to get an ASM 50. That Same. is... It might not be the first thing I get, but that is definitely kind of like the same way that this Savage Tales was. I'm going to get it, and I'm going to get it for the price I want to pay mm. or close to it. Right. Because they're out there. There's tons of them out there. So yeah. it's just a matter of finding the right one for the right price. And I'm basically, it's going to be on my radar all year long. Yeah. And I'll, I'll find other shit while I'm trying to find that. But that and the ASM 121. And I only care to get 121 right away because I really want to have everything above 50. <laughs> and that's the only thing yeah. I need above 50. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's you know what I really want to cool. get. I didn't know I wanted until I saw that you had it. And I was like, well, that is actually a really freaking cool book. <laughs> Which one? The Which Savage, Savage Tales. Tales. Yeah, oh, man. Dude. And I haven't cracked it up and read it, cracked it open and read it yet. But 
I mean, I've I've seen the pictures in it and the art. Like, it's all black and white. Like I like that. It looks good. I can't wait to read it, but I haven't had a chance to read anything. And that's one of them things where I got to be here in the freaking dojo, sitting at my desk, <laughs> have everything cleared off, no coffee near it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. No kidding. I'm looking for one of those, and I keep getting outbid at the fucking end. I wish I would have just done that. Buy it now for the one you showed me. It was like 150. Yeah. And no, nope, I waited. Good. There was an auction like in the 100s. I'm like, I'll wait on this one. I'm gonna wait till this is done. Yeah. Like five minutes before that one ended, someone bought the buy it now one. It's probably the same guy bought both just because he didn't want to lose. So now yeah, I haven't seen the bid that goes price. over the buy it now, then people start getting. That. Yeah. Foo. Uh, Pope wanted to know what is your cap on an ASM 121. Um, I mean, I, like is there a great we were talking about the other day, I didn't realize that they were as expensive as they are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, what is one? What's one twenty one? I can't picture that right now. It's the death of Gwen Stacy. Oh shit! Duh. Yeah, duh. My bad. Yeah. Yeah, and so like, I Ooh. think I said that night, like I'm looking to pay like around one fifty, and so like I'm not looking to get a nine point eight or yeah. you know a high grade you one. Find, yeah. You can find them for a hundred. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like I, I would be willing to pay up to one fifty for one. It's got to be intact, cover attached. Like if if it's got some like you know like damage to it or whatever, it's fine. Especially if it's on the back. Like if I just got the one I got today from Issues, he gave me. Uh, I got number forty from him, mm-hmm. and like, man, I've been waiting for that forever. So I cracked it right open and read it right there on my couch. But it was it's like crazy. the bunk of it was all nasty, so I didn't care. If that one got yeah. hurt like it's totally a reader copy but i didn't sure. like the same thing with this like i i'm gonna read it like i'm gonna open it up and read it so if it's too high a grade i'll be worried about it and it can't have the cover like the cover has to be attached that's my only rule when i buy stuff is i don't like stuff where there's an unattached cover yeah so is there like a okay? So like when you're doing a full run of uh, Amazing Spider-Man or X-Men or I don't think I don't think Nemo does necessarily full runs, but if you're doing a full run, is there like a lower <laughs> the is there a grade you won't go below no matter what, or is it just certain books that mean something to you you want a higher grade on? For me, I'm a I'm a get it and then get a big better one later. For instance, I have like I'm working on Tomb of Dracula, and I've been working on a lot of these runs for years. But, like, my Tomb of Dracula number one doesn't have a cover. And I'm fine with that. Like, it's still oh. Tomb of Dracula oh. number one. And I can read it. And I got it for free. No, I got it out of a dollar bin with no cover on it. And and I'll get one with a cover someday. But I have this one. And I can pick it out of there and read it without worrying about it. I could read that one on the shitter and not care. You know? <laughs> and that's really all that's important. If I had a nice one, I would that be worried happens. about it. <laughs> All right, so yep. Nemo, what is your uh, one thing or a couple things you want to get done in 2020? Before you get to me, I know uh, Parker, you wanted yes, to sir. show something. There was a book oh, yeah, that you yeah. Let hey, show take Oh, okay. Sorry, Peter. Oh, you're good. You're good. This was actually probably my favorite. I got it for way too cheap pickup of the year. Uh, and I never thought I'd get one of these. I never really wanted it that bad. But now that I have it, I'm so excited about it. It's a uh, oh, yeah. first rock. Oh, wow. First rock- Rapper That's Raccoon and yeah. yeah, and I literally paid a dollar because it's got like mouse chewing, maybe uh, even maybe two dollars. Uh, and like, I just don't think the dealer even knew what he had. He just saw like the condition was like, dude, like two bucks, whatever. And I, I didn't want to tell him, like, you do know this is like first rocket raccoon, right? And I mean, uh, <laughs> nope, didn't say it. I just I took the deal and ran. I took the deal and ran. <laughs> Hey, it's one thing if it's like a, a newbie person that doesn't know comics, but it's a dealer. There's a comic shop. Yeah, there's a shop. So, no, yeah, I don't have no problem taking advantage of dealers. <laughs> they should know. Okay, well, since we're on Parker, I'll just do, I'll just do you next, Parker. So, that what is your okay. 2020 thing you want to get done? Um, or whatever. Nice. Um, so I want that Savage Tales one, but it's, I'm not in a hurry for it. It's been a back burner book for a long time, but it keeps going up in value. Uh, yeah. besides that, Spider-Man 50 as well. It's one of the only ASMs I don't have. And then I want a giant size X-Men. So Mo and issues, you need to back the fuck off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting uh, it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cause what the guy in our club, Hoser found one for like 
I'm like, I don't want to talk about this right. I want to keep it on the hush, but he found it for like 400 bucks. And no matter what the condition is, it could be ripped in half. That's still a good deal. Um, yeah. I think <laughs> I'm, third, I'm third in line for it on the claims. So if, <laughs> if Mo and Issues back off and don't want it, I think Issues at first, then I might have a shot. If Issue backs off of that, he's crazy, but I don't think he is. Yeah. He yeah. Yeah. GSX one. I don't even have four bucks in my name. And if Issues backs <laughs> off that, I'm going to jump in on that for God's sake. It, I don't know how I pay for it. On okay. Instagram. It. Is it somebody on Instagram? No, no, no. Uh, no. Hoser knows in his shop somebody okay. that's selling it. It's yeah. in Canada. Well, so it's actually like, that's two oh, like, prices. Like, that, that, that's don't buy that off the Instagram prices. <laughs> No, no, no. I wouldn't I trust that. that. Oh, that Scammer. <laughs> but the thing is, it's like, wait a minute. Shut this down. That's too good to be true. I know. I don't, I don't No, no. I'm shutting that down. The thing I was yeah. telling Hoser, because he said he's not going back until tomorrow to, mm -hmm. to get the pictures and everything for issues. Yeah. I mean, I hope that thing's hidden because I feel like it's the not gonna first smart, there. intelligent comic collector that goes in there and sees that, he's going to, yeah, that's going to be gone. Yeah. Yeah, and Dude, it's like four hundred. That would be, like that would like be four fifty Canadian, which is like three hundred no, us. It's yeah. If I went in there and I saw that in a comic book shop, I would be so surprised. I don't even know if I would buy it. Like I think I would take pictures and send it to you guys. Be like, there's something weird. Like this mm -hmm. is a shop. It, it wouldn't matter because like I. Parker was you saying, I mean, like, like, I'll be afraid it's like one of those. You know how they do like reprints, like you know in the. 70s yes. like silver reprint or Kmart reprint or whatever the hell JC Penny or somebody had one of those one time and I'd, I'd be afraid it'd be that or something because I wouldn't know I'm like that seems weird because yeah I'm, like Parker said I mean I've seen them where like the whole half covers missing and you can barely even tell what it is and I feel like they were that price like you can't They're even still yeah 600 bucks or something yeah yeah okay so Plus, Mo, you got something you want to get done for 2020 uh I mean I have my list is that the fast yeah. yeah, facsimile. <laughs> I got facsimile too. Same. Here. Oh yeah, I have more. There's more things I want. Oh, I want to finish my my goal. My goal for 2020, not to cut you off, is uh, I want to finish my Submariner run from the 70s and their volume one, whatever it is. And I'm only missing like one book in the 60s and one book in the 40s. So I'm two away from having a full run, and I'm like five issues away from finishing uh, Avengers volume one full run. So those are kind of my easily obtainable goals. Sweet. So, I'm going to knock where, those out. Where does Avengers go to? Like, where are the numbers? 402. It goes they, up to 402? Yeah, and then they switched it to, like, volume two with Kurt Busick and Perez, I think. So, like, number one, two, three, four. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, so I thought, uh, when you were saying that, I thought, hey, you know what? I picked some char some characters I like, Strange and, uh, and Thor, where it's like, you know, I can get... Hundreds of them, and nobody really seems to care. They'll just give them to me. There's a problem, though. There's a few books on both of those yep. guys that uh, just stops me dead in my tracks from ever completing that. <laughs> Only a few? I'm pretty sure there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't really pay attention to it until somebody was like, oh, uh, somebody on Instagram somebody reached out to me. It was like, hey, I have this one and that one. I'm like, oh, sweet. And then, you know, they they gave me that friend price. I said, oh, Jesus. <laughs> like, um, $50. Dollars. Friends and family. <laughs> you know who did that to oh. me one time? Um, uh, comic books uh, Smurf. He goes, oh. "Hey, don't you like uh, Strange?" And I said, "Yeah." And he goes, "I got some. I got some for you next round." And he put up like the the, the four, and I was like, "Dude, you can't just throw that up there. Like, you got to give me like two or three weeks notice." Like, hey, <laughs> yeah, let me sell one of my kids. You can't just like, oh, okay, yeah, next right. round and start putting them up there like that. Good lord. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, is that it, Parker? Got anything else? Uh, no, that's it. Oh, I was gonna add on that whole what condition I care about. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I have, I'm, I'm the least picky person. I will take fair, poor, as low as you can get. Um, the only thing that bothers me is when, uh, when there's writing on the cover that intrudes on like people's face. So I don't like when people color in the eyes or they scribble a face. Like I've seen though that uh, amazing one twenty one. I've seen those cheap enough, like in my price range, but every time it's like somebody X'd out the face, cause there's like 10 different faces. It says somebody in this issue will die. And it's like, I bet this kid was like, Oh, uh, it's not going to be him. It's not gonna be him. And then they circle who they think it's going to be. Like, Oh, it's not him. They, they, they're reading the book. Like, Oh, he's still alive. Cross him out. Like, what are you doing? 
Um, pretty much that, or I've got a few books where that someone's colored in someone's eyes, like it's sunglasses or draws on a mustache. Mm -hmm. That is a deal breaker for me, but it, I don't mind date stamps. I don't mind kid cigs. I don't mind coupons missing cover list, back cover. Cause with cover list, I usually just get a uh, facsimile cover printed. I got a cover guy so I can get any cover made for like 20 bucks, but mm -hmm. no, I'm not a condition hound at all. I'd really, really low grade the better because it has more flavor, more story. I like just, it's I don't know. There's more. And then yep. they usually they smell better because it's probably mildew. But I mean, <laughs> lower lower grade books tend to smell better. old. You know, you know, it's slowly decaying, but I like, I like the odor. Yeah. <laughs> mold, suck that mold in. Mm -hmm. That's it yeah, for me, though. There's nothing else I'm looking for. I will I just, say, the I other just day I cracked cracked open, and uh, somebody gave him like a mustache and a beard on the cover, and it's yeah, like such that. a great cover, man. And when like I that. bought it, I got it from Lady Fantastic on an auction. She said in the auction that it was crayon. So I'm like, oh, shit, I can get crayon off. It and it showed Sharpie, up with a Sharpie. And yeah. you can see where somebody had used something, like some kind of liquid to try and get it off already. And I'm like, fuck, yeah. it's already wow. ruined now. So <laughs> yep. I'm thinking about just like cutting out a Captain America face from any random Captain <laughs> America comic. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> not a bad idea. idea. That's a good idea, actually. <laughs> Just so I don't have to look at it anymore. Yeah. I was going to say, though, uh, one thing that I did notice, because I've been reading so many comics online, is that I got a, I got a pretty decent, uh, I'd say probably like 20, 22, 25, something like that, a strange, just random, like probably volume two, I think it is, probably the one I have the most of, of Doctor Strange books, where I literally have like three or four copies of each one, because like I said, people gift me those so much. And I will say... Oh. Those are from like I don't know seventies, late seventies or something like that, and um, and I was reading those because you know what difference does it make? I have like five of them, and yeah. although I do like the fact that on the digital one I can just click it and I, I can go through it really fast, there is something to be said for holding a really smelly old comic oh, book absolutely. and flipping through it that I forgot because the new ones you know you you, you don't even want to touch them because your fingerprints because they're all made like crap, so your fingerprints mm -hmm. will get on them, and I'm like holding it very gently and that one i can kind of you know whack it like a newspaper and be like i can really get in there and read it if i want to so that's kind of cool so i do like i you know i wouldn't mind having some older books where i could just not worry about it man that golden age collection it smelled like freaking cologne to me i loved it, <laughs> it jealous no I I right. I'm <laughs> cool. I, 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 a lot Must. of them i was scared to pull out because they're so old you just never know but every single one i pulled it out of the box like they were all in mylar's so I pulled it out, set it in front of me, laid it down, and I hold it up all kinds of different ways, just just doing like a quick grade through the thing. If there was a backboard, I would grade, grade the back too. But every single one of them, I'd squeeze the side on it because they're those open top mylars that don't have a flap. I'd squeeze the side just a little bit and just go <laughs> give it a little sniff. <laughs> and then I'd set it down yeah. like, oh, that's so nice. It smelled so good in that. Comic dude. book smell is fast. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, love the smell of coffee. Man. Mo, what are you looking for this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I am doing the uh, Volume Two X Men run, so I do what? collect runs, Mister Garrel. Jim Lee? Is that Jim I mean, Lee or yeah, Jim Lee? I thought okay. he said he did collect runs. I thought you said that. I don't know when you heard that or believed. I you apologize, that Mo. I thought you said that. I thought you collect runs. But anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I already got uh, one through thirty so far. I think I'm missing a few issues in the twenties. Uh, um, oh, I have them. You need them. I have one through thirty-two. So and oh, doubles. Yeah. yeah, we'll talk about that. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just trying to focus on one through fifty, and then after that I'll get into more of the uh, volume two issues. Um, I was gonna try to do X Men Volume One, but it's just so many. And yeah. So a lot of people just get the they get the uncannies and just forget about the earlier ones, which that's yeah. reasonable. It's hard to get right. all those. That's tough. And a yep. lot of people stop when they start reprinting them too. Like yeah. you don't get one through if you're going to do the OG ones, you know, you get one through whatever it was, forty something, wasn't it? Uh, right. 50, fifty or sixty. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And then they start doing yeah. all the reprints of it. They don't yeah. even collect them. But those uh, are cool. Those are actually lower print, and they're all like alternate covers and flip yeah. side covers. I like a lot of those ones, but they're yeah, hard really to find. Like very hard to find. Frankenstein on the cover. I think it's forty-eight. That has Frankenstein on the cover. Yeah, that, it's four, I got forty the is the original. Yeah, and then 40, I got the reprint. Is the original one. And eighty-eight is the reprint. Yeah. 
Yeah, I made sure I was. I got both of those. I actually, got oh, I, the super I have the reprint. And then, yeah. um, is there like one big book you're trying to get this year? Well, that GSX one would have been nice, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't Shit, know. I mean, I, I'm sure. That I got two of the books already off my list, and oh, last God. year I, I didn't really complete my full list. So I wasn't disappointed in not doing it, but I do want to focus more on this year completing the the doable list um, on my uh, Instagram. But um, mm-hmm. yeah, we'll see. Right on, man. You should uh, go for the X Men number one first, Magneto, since he's your guy. Yes, and yeah, I mean, not a big book. I don't know if that's just as hard to obtain, but that'd be dope. It's probably harder. To- and I'd say yeah. if I couldn't get a GS what a GSX one this year, it'd probably Foom Ten. Considered as a, a preview before um, yeah. GSX one, which I'm not gonna say it's like the first because it's magazine or whatever. But yeah, yeah it'd be nice yeah. to have. I really, really want that boom. I think it's two, whichever one is that classic uh, Hulk cover. Yeah, that one's so good. But one, oh god, that's a pricey book. Oh yeah, yeah, I want that boom that has Howard the Duck on it for president. <laughs> nice. Which one that is? But that's I didn't put it on my list. But. It's one of those books where if I ever saw it for a good deal, I would buy that shit up. Yeah. Oh, I am. If I can find one at uh, C2E2, I, I, this is the main book I'm going to be looking for besides. Yeah, nice. I got that. Too. Uh, what is it? X Men 4. First uh, Quicksilver Scarlet Witch Brotherhood. I'd like to get one of those. Because I saw one at last C2E2 for like 150 And I'm like, ah, I want this, but I want to go look around before I spend the last of my money. I went back for it and it was gone. So I could have had one for dirt cheap. And I just. Waited too long. Yeah. yeah. So the other day at work, I drew a uh, Howard the Duck, like really quick sketch, just being silly, and I sent it to a uh, Fu. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. I was just being silly. I only did like half of it, and my I left it on the desk and I forgot about it. And this today, my daughter came up there and looked at it. She's like, "Oh, look at the duck, who Donald has, the Duck, who has a tattoo on his hand and smoking a cigar." Dad, what is this? And I'm like, "Ah, it's a comic <laughs> book thing. Don't worry about that. Uh, uh, just disregard that." She's like, like she's like, like with like, Captain America and stuff. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's in there with the rest of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about <laughs> I watched the Howard the Duck. I watched the Howard the Duck movie for the first time this last year. That's pretty racy. I was not expecting it to be as <laughs> racy. That's awesome. That's before PC was a thing. Yeah, was real. There was a lot of things that were able to go by in the movie <laughs> without it being yeah. like. Yeah, yeah, it's all right, whatever. <laughs> I remember that used to come on like repeat. You know how like HBO or you know Skinamax or one of those used to always buy like the rights to it, and they would show it seventeen times a day. And I remember yeah. one of them had that, and I just remember being so confused, as a little kid going, "So what? She she likes ducks? Like that's <laughs> creepy? Like I don't understand. Does she like him? Like does she like him? Like him? I was so confused about the whole duck relationship thing." I think it's hilarious that he drives a freaking paraplane, a go kart plane. <laughs> he put, he builds it and then he flies off. That's just that's so funny. That's so eighties. <laughs> I don't know if you should, yeah. Parker, but Chaos and Comics said that you should show Howard the Duck to your daughter. No way, it's not happening. <laughs> I lo- uh, I don't know. She did. She got into Metal Shark Bro. She actually keeps asking me to read it to her. Nice. So maybe. He might be able to handle some darker stuff. I don't know. I'd have to kind of steer the content of what's really in there. I kind of make up the story as I go. Yeah. Like, oh, they're not. He's not smoking a cigar. He's just that. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> he's chewing on a pretzel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Something like that. Uh, Craig, have you seen the old, I don't know, if, I, think it's, I don't think it's 70s, but like late 80s, early 90s Doctor Strange movie, the original live action one? God, no, but I, I, I oh. feel like I need to watch it now. I bet it's terrible. It's kind of terrible. terrible. <laughs> See, I don't know what you... I've never heard of that. They did a Doctor Strange movie in the 80s? Yeah, mm-hmm. it was like when they did the Captain America on the motorcycle, bike helmet. It was really? pretty, pretty <laughs> it's poor. Oh, okay, yeah. I've never seen the Captain America one, but I've never seen the Doctor Strange. You know, I watched three episodes of the Shazam and the RV that the DC uh, screaming service has, and it is fantastic. It is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it is so great. It's great. He's like, he's Shazam in one episode that I watched. He literally spends the episode because a kid stole a bike or something or didn't want to ride his bike anymore. So his friend stole the car. 
And like, and I was like, Sh- have the power of Shazam. And the whole episode is about him trying to teach a kid not to steal a car. Why well, that's not a waste of power or nothing. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah. I remember seeing that as a kid, like the cereals, the old, Oh, that was a bad. <laughs> well, here's these. It's going to make me bigger. You can see it. I have, I have tape and DVD. That's how awesome it is. And it's from 1978, so I was way off. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. a couple of years off. Unless yeah, you were eighty something. Wow. There he is. He's got a fucking Jufro and a mustache. We're wearing his, uh, <laughs> his sash. Uh, uh, he's like, you wait, is, are you sure this is not an adult film? Because that guy looks like an adult uh, movie. Is he wearing uh, chains? Is he wearing chains like Mr. Yeah. T? Yeah, he is. Are we sure? Seriously, did you actually <laughs> watch this? Like, is that the end of the orange? Belt across his shoulder. Too. <laughs> yeah. It's the bling of it's the bling of Agamotto, man. The bling of Agamotto. I gotta, yeah. feel, I gotta feel if you put that in, you're gonna hear like some saxophone playing, like boom. Oh yeah. Oh, there's the DVD. Yeah. yeah. Where did you find that DVD at? Did you get it at the Walmart dollar bin? <laughs> no, uh, Family Video. That when the uh, Doctor Strange, the new one, came out on DVD, they re-released this one, and within a week, it was for sale for five bucks. So. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it was supposed to sell for two dollars and seventy nine cents. Yeah, you paid way too much for that. You, paid, like, you had to pay that much to rent it. I was like, for twice the price, I can buy it. Sold. <laughs> it's actually okay. It's not a. It's as far as the Marvel made for TV movies. It's way better than the Hasselhoff Fury one. That one's. Oh, oh I love that movie though. He popped really? his eyeball out and it had like an yeah. explosive in uh, <laughs> uh, one. The second the one though, I guarantee there's some mom. Who thought that was Doctor Strange from like you know a year or two ago, and some poor kid popped that oh, thing in there because that yep. that DVD looks very suspicious. Yes, it does. It does. It does. Right. It's very it suspicious. Doesn't... And some poor kid got that, that instead of the other one. He's like, "What in the world?" <laughs> Mom, they're having a the world of pain. Fantastic Four movie they did right, the one that wasn't ever supposed yeah. to be released. Yeah, that one. Different. That one's bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. It's worse. Doctor Strange is better than that for sure. I would hope so. Is there was a, uh, wasn't there a Punisher before all the other Punishers yeah. in the battle? Dolph Lundgren, dude. Dolph yeah, Lundgren. there was like a... Ivan Drago. Randomly yeah. seen that on HBO, too, and was so confused. I was like, is this the comic book Punisher? Because this is weird. Like, I, it was really confusing. I watched that movie all the time. Like, anytime it came on HBO, I would watch it. I loved it. Yeah. As a kid. I watched it a lot. It's bad, but I mean, I loved it as a kid. It's a terrible film, but yeah. When you were when you watching it, it was amazing. But now, yeah, you can just be like, meh. I always watch the He-Man movie he did too, though. Yeah. Yeah, I was kind of sad whenever that movie came out as a kid because I was really excited about it, and then like none of the story made sense. Half the characters weren't real. I was like, "What the hell is this?" Like, I was really. Uh, Who was that? Uh, Danny DeVito character that was in there? He's not Danny DeVito, but I don't know. He's got that nose and everything. I don't even know. That's not a real character. Not 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 my mm-hmm. He-Man. Not when I, I was a kid. Like, that ain't my He-Man. I don't know who that is. That ain't my He-Man. I'm still waiting for a live-action Thundercats, man. I need to see one of those. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I've seen, like on Instagram, somebody put that up. Those Fantastic Four ones. Wow! Look at this stupid thing, man. Oh my god! Look at the thing. That is great special effects. <laughs> That's so great. That's looks amazing. like the lizard. Yeah, Doctor it Doom. Like, uh, one of the it probably was, was a lizard Star mask movies, or a TV show. Yeah. It probably yeah. was an old lizard mask that they just painted. <laughs> it just sat there. Those, that looks like a Saturday Night Live skit. Those three in the front, they're like, hey, yeah, <laughs> we're happy and we're white because we're happy. Like, look how goofy oh, they are. Right. Way to go, Marvel. Marvel was just selling those rights to anybody back in the day. Yeah, hey, you want to make a movie? Sure. Whatever. Well, it was the, yeah, the only way they could keep the rights is they had to turn the movie out like every ten years, fifteen years. So like, if you well, think that uh, like all the Fantastic Four movies, because there's been a few in that there hasn't the, been a good one yet. Well, yeah, it's like first oh, I wonder why yeah. Fantastic Four is not as popular as it used to be. Can't imagine Marvel. <laughs> Can't yeah. imagine. I was talking about Parker. <laughs> Fantastic Four at number two, the Silver Surfer one was amazing. No, you're kidding, right? <laughs> it, it should be it should be just as much as you saying that Suicide Squad, Suicide Squad is amazing. So fuck off. <laughs> Actually, Suicide all right. Squad can't be amazing because Will Smith's in it, and that right there excludes. I said Will Smith is a good actor, ish, uh, comedian actor, but yeah, that movie was just terrible. I, I mean, thought Silver Surfer came there, out really, really well. It was just Galactus was an abomination. That was terrible. It was like a big cloud. 
There's a reason Tom Hardy pulled out of that movie. Did he? Yeah, because he was supposed to play the uh, boomerang sure. guy. No. Oh, was he? Oh, that would have yes. been so much better. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Instead, we got that one dude. Yep. Ah. <laughs> we got that one dude. I don't even know his name. If what's her name, what's name, Robbie or whatever, was in that movie, I don't think anybody even remember that Suicide Squad even came out. To be honest with you, Harley Quinn. Well, she's like the highlight. Of uh, like she was the only thing anybody ever talked about or still talks about. Nobody else that was even memorable. Well, I mean, she, Wolf of Wall Street, she blew up because that movie she did really well in, and yeah, she yeah. was she looked great in the movie. But well, yeah, I mean, she, she nailed that I think pretty well. And then yeah, she didn't, she didn't play bad as Harley Quinn. Yeah. And the rest uh, of them, I don't think they really even made effort to even kind of build their story. Like, I couldn't even really tell you what the whole point of almost any of them, the rest of them were there. I mean, I guess it's Suicide Squad. It's not really that important, but. No. What so doesn't make sense. That, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Fu. She's in that Birds of Prey movie, too, right? Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm and, totally ignorant when it comes to the DC stuff like that, but Birds of Prey weren't, wasn't those a bunch of vigilantes? They weren't bad guys, right? Right. Yeah. Like the is, why the hell would they put the Birds of Prey and Harley Quinn? Well, that's like, the thing. Like they, that whole movie is not even seems like it should be Birds of Prey. It should be like Go- uh, what Sirens of uh, what was it? Sirens of Gotham or whatever. Gotham, Gotham Sirens. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. should have done that movie instead. I mean, if you're yeah. gonna have those act, um, characters in it, so I don't know. Dude, it's it's just, almost like like we we'll get more people that want to watch it if we call it this, yeah. even though it's totally not this. Because that, that know, just confused me when I saw that. I always thought Birds of Prey. Well, those are good guys, and you got Harley Quinn with them, yeah. who is obviously not supposed to be a good guy. Well, it is a weird decision to make because then you have that problem where you have if you do want to make a Joker movie and you want her to be in it as his sidekick, then you're gonna have a weird thing where you made her like bad but kind of funny. And then you're gonna make her a good guy, and then what? Eventually, because I mean, eventually they're probably gonna make a, a her a Joker and her together. No, no, not anymore. They were planning it, but they, they scrapped it. Yeah. Jared Leto won't touch that character anymore. Well, it doesn't have to be Jared Leto. It can be. It can be anybody. Ah, they won't. They're uh, remaking Top Gun. I think they're probably gonna eventually make that thing again. Eventually, they might use a new Harley yeah. Quinn, like a different yeah. actors. I'm not saying it won't ever happen, but. In that universe, we're not getting Joker back. Um, what I was gonna say, that accent that she does though in the new Birds of Prey, it just didn't, doesn't sit well with me. Like it doesn't sound like it seems yeah. like she's trying to force it too much. But, yeah. yeah. Oh, I guess I haven't. I guess I don't. I, I know I didn't watch because I don't know if I, I'm gonna like Birds of Prey, so I didn't like really go out and double watch all the previews and stuff because it don't looks know. okay. I mean. I don't know. I think if you like Suicide Squad, you'll like it, but nobody really likes <laughs> Suicide Squad. <laughs> That's a terrible pitch there, Parker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Suicide Squad, you're going to love this movie. <laughs> like, no. The fans of the worst DC movie ever. And it's just like uh, everyone was all excited about the New Mutants, but like, I'm sorry. People are uh, the actors Parker? in that annoy the piss out of me, so I don't know how that's going to work. Like, I, I, I just only really watched the trailer today. Yeah. I thought it was freaking great. I can't wait to see it. They could like the the no, doctor I'm that I've seen her in other movies. She annoyed the piss out of me. I don't know who the actress is, but she's always annoyed me. And then, uh, well, the, the, the girl that plays uh, uh, Rain is it? In that isn't that her name? The uh, freaking the Wolf Bane. Wolf Bane. I don't, I don't know her yeah, real name. Rain Wolfbane. something or other is her real sure. name. Like her character's name. Anyway, she was from Go- the Game of Thrones. You said uh, you're talking about New Mutants. Yeah, we're yeah. talking about New Mutants. Oh yeah, Wolfsbane. Is what you're saying. Is that her yeah? Name? I was just saying like her Wolfsbane is her X Men name. Her X Men name, yeah. Rain something. Oh, or- and yeah, I've, yeah, seen yeah. That, I've seen that chick in other movies. She's still she's done a few. Now, I mean, they're quick movies because they offer her success of Game of Thrones, and I was like kind of annoyed. Like honestly, like she was kind of annoying in those things. Just her facial expressions and everything are kind of weird. And then the guy from uh, Stranger Things, like he's in that too, and he's another one that's like, he makes weird. That's where I saw that dude. He's the older brother, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. When, he, when he's when they gave him a lot of stuff to do on Stranger Things, he makes weird decisions of how he like plays parts and again makes facial expressions. So yeah, it, could be, it could be awesome. But I, I'm really hoping because I'm hoping it's a great movie. I want it to be really good. But I'm just yeah. like, uh, I, it's okay. 
hopefully you pick them because of the right people. You're not cashing in on the Stranger Things slash Game of Thrones. Success. Man, I haven't yeah. read the whole New Mutants run. Like I have it, and I've just always put it off. I probably read like the first ten issues or something, but I liked what I read, and so like I've always been like a, a pro New Mutants, even though Rob Liefeld did ruin it towards the end from the art. But at least he wasn't writing stories. I'm not the only one that can still look at his Instagram account. Please stop. I like his like. Okay, so. Okay, woo! Got some good stuff for you. Got some good stuff. I love it. I can't get enough of it. <laughs> all right, let me talk to you guys real quick. Uh, <laughs> how he blocked everybody all the time. I blocked him. <laughs> oh, nice. Like normal question. It wasn't even crazy because it's Bueller. I don't think he went at him hard and he got blocked. Like he just got blocked immediately. Just to answer any kind of question. Like, hey, what'd you have for lunch today? <laughs> blocked. Block it, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> when he does his block line, party. I would always go on there and leave, like, the dumbest. Like, the dumbest. Like, I would keep asking, like, about the lips. Like, tell me about the lips. Explain what you're thinking. And he would never, like, of course, he never looked at it, I guess. But yeah. I never got blocked. And so finally, I was like, fuck it, I'm blocking you. <laughs> yeah. I decided. I, like, I guess he still gets, uh, well, clearly, he gets way too excited. So I guess he still gets rights to, like, all the merchandising because he'll get super excited about like, oh, I got something special for you. It's this lunchbox and it's got the man, it's got the Merc on there. Woo! It's, it's gonna be amazing. I'm like, dude, you get you must get a cut of that money because you're way too excited about lunchbox. <laughs> it still pisses me off. He stole my balloon idea. Like he could have drawn anything. They need to go and draw a freaking balloon. Mm-hmm. Asshole. You had one skill and you took it from me. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to brand myself here. I was trying to build <laughs> brand. You don't see me drawing pouches, do you? Screw you, man. <laughs> well, all right, gentlemen. I think 2019 is awesome. I hope 2020, well, 2019 wasn't awesome. Comic books, it was awesome. 2019 could be better, but oh, hopefully 2020 great. is going to be a better year. Hope it's going to be fun. I Down all three you're going to C2 E2. Wish I could join you. Well, except for Foos. Foos got a mystery box. Well, except for Foos. Yeah, that one's fair. Fair game. <laughs> I couldn't understand because Not- everybody was talking at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we- <laughs> Nothing. That doesn't matter. Go ahead, girl. Oh, okay. Parker was, was being Parker, but yeah, yeah that's fine. Spread, spread hate. He was saying that the food box is amazing. Please go out to your local. Thank you. Buy my box. Send me super chats. Put your That's local light oh, Super chats. There you go. Anybody who wants to support the channel, feel free, and it'll help us buy Mr. Garrel. New the computer. Full oh, yeah. I need, more, I need the gimmicks. Y'all got to help me get the gimmicks first. Yeah. So support the channel. Super chat so that Mr. Garrel <laughs> can get the gimmicks. Get this guy a grail, all right? That guy. This guy. Well, I appreciate everybody coming on. I appreciate everybody watching. Right. That and guy. Let's go. <laughs> 2020, you rule. Yay. Thanks, guys. Bye, everybody. Oh, you got to hit.